It's just a little while for the camera shit. On trip. Game time, let's go. Let's get a shot of this right Can here. Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little. Big man. To get my chest. Drugs, guns, who just got me on the run? Let me shine a little light. Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little. Uh. Life's a game of chess. Drugs, guns, who just got me on the run? Let me shine a little light. I grew up on the 50s. I love my whole city. Got the little ones with me. I ain't going back to prison. House with a yard. I get my own nine locks. I walk my own yard. I'm Figaro of 50. Where I come from, dog, everybody's filthy. Get your hands dirty. Some concrete yeah. Let's go. It's game time, baby boy. I want to welcome you all to Hood Stocks. Today is motherfucking Saturday, right? Saturday? Saturday. Uh, we're, damn, we're already, in the, we're already in May, huh? I think it's the second. Damn. <laughs> already the second, huh? A, dog. That's crazy time. This motherfucking flying. This year is flying on this fucking quarantine fucking life that we live now. Uh, like I said, welcome to Hoodstocks, the podcast where we take all the risk in life. I have a confession. I'm going to start this shit off with a confession. Today I was at Walmart. Before I hit Walmart, I drank a fucking big cup of motherfucking coffee, bro. You know what I mean? No sugar or crema, nothing? Nothing, brother. Black. Like my mama, right? And um, I get what I need at Walmart, bro. And I stand in line. You know, the lines right now, are, bro, are extra long, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, they got that six feet uh, uh, social distance you got to keep, homie. So, I mean, you're damn near in the back of the motherfucking Walmart, bro, standing in a motherfucking uh, 10 person, five person line or whatever the fuck, dog. Uh, you know what I mean, you're next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you next. You're coming right back up. But Pete Gang, though, bro, so I, I get the shit that I need, homie, you know what I mean? And, and I'm like, I'm trying to bounce the fuck out, dog. I need to get ready for this podcast. I got motherfucking big dog coming through, you know? And um, I get in the, I get in line. I wait there for about fucking five minutes. All of a sudden, I get that motherfucking, uh, that gut, that alarm, that when your gut just drops, homie, when you got to take a motherfucking massive shit, homie. Ugh. <laughs> And and I just like damn homie, I'm already I'm already ex, you know what I mean? I've been in this line for five, ten fucking minutes. And um, you know, I got two choices, bro. You know what I mean? I'm either gonna fucking clench the fucking butt dicks dog and fucking waddle like a duck through this motherfucker, or I'm gonna take the risk in this coronavirus quarantine times that we live in and go shit on a fucking public fucking toilet, dog. I, mean, I, I hope you held that shit in. Nah, bro. I want to take a <laughs> shit, dog. I had to take a yeah? motherfucking shit. Yeah, dog. You got to go. You got to go, bro. You know what I mean? I went and the, the worst part about it is I had to go so bad. I don't know what the fuck it was that I ate, dog. But it was one of them shits, dog, that when you sit on the fucking toilet, it's like a softball fucking flying out your ass and the water fucking comes back and hits you in the fucking butt cheeks on me. So... Yeah, that to me, that's like when, when the water hits you in the ass, it's kind of like, damn, this is going to be easy to wipe my ass today. <laughs> <laughs> like when it hits me in the ass, I'm like, fuck yeah, no baby wipes on this fucker. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. You know what I mean? So um <laughs> on that note, I'm not trying to make a joke out of this shit, but I was like, fuck, man. And the bathrooms were butt naked, bro. There was nobody in there, dog. Yeah. Nobody was using the fucking restrooms. And here I was, this fucking little, this fucking crazy motherfucker tatted down, homie. Right. Don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I ain't going to take a piss. I'm going to take a shit. Yeah, <laughs> the restroom was like, it probably looked at you like, oh, shit. <laughs> this motherfucker crazy in the moment. Uh, he already, he probably already like, got it. <laughs> the restroom probably looked at you was like, damn, this was going to take a shit in here and then clean everything and do his laundry in here. <laughs> <laughs> Came back in, it looked like a prison cell. I had my socks fucking right? hanging up and my drawers hanging up, dog. You know what I mean? Hey, today is a very special day. Everybody's been tapping in. Everybody's been hitting on the comments. Everybody's excited about having this dude on the platform today. Oh, shit. As well as, yeah, real shit. Damn, I owe money, eh? Do you, dog? I got like eight babies' moms that oh, haven't shit. found me. I keep changing my email. <laughs> hey. Join the club, my G. You know what right? I mean? We're going down together. We on the same ship, homie. All right. Today, this man has been putting in 
putting in that hard work, cementing his legacy and history as he moves on up. Might have caught this man on MTV's Yo Mama, the Joe Rogan Experience, hanging out with Joey, Coco Diaz, get lit with motherfucking uh, Be Real in the smoke box. I mean, this dude is a legend in the making. One of the funniest homies on the planet. I mean, what's the deal, Happy Meal? Pass the lighter, street fighter. fighter. Yeah. No, Come on no, now. Don't sweat it, bald headed. Yes, sir. Repping the city of Orange, Orange County. I want you to stand the fuck up. LA, I want you to stand the fuck up. Where the fuck you at? Stand the fuck up and give it up for motherfucking George Perez. Damn. Yeah. Let's go. What's up, my boy? Hey, dog. Like, you're going to intro my DVD for that shit. Was like, I was going to do a special right now. I was gonna start doing jokes and shit. Hey, fool, that's fuck. Hey, homie, I can tell you've been locked up, dog. You did the research, checked that out. Intro was dope. Gracias, my boy. Dog. I feel gracias. I mean, I used to call out Rutina on the theater, dog. I, I can mean, tell. Sureños, this is a mandatory Rutina. During Rutina, there will be no smoking, there will be no talking, there will be no sleeping during Rutina. Gracias, gracias a ti. Danger, you know what I mean, guys. It's called the Rutina, dog. I just got a fucking loud. I'm a loud motherfucker. The neighbors hate me right here, bro. They're like, "What are you doing, beating your kids again?" Uh, <laughs> hey, you don't even know football. Like your neighbors probably like give you nicknames like Ira, the Cholo, Howard Stern. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. That's how they fucking. Hey, my neighbors. Hey, dog. I live in like in the kind of uh, kind of same area as you. Like okay. My our neighbors are right there. Mm -hmm. Like if they fight, I could hear. Yeah. If I fight, they could hear. Yeah. And this is the same shit as me. My neighbors are all loud in the daytime. Excuse me, because they fix motorcycles. Are they tweaking? Probably. <laughs> so in the daytime, when I'm trying to sleep, I can't complain because when they're trying to sleep at night, we're getting lit. Hey. Hey, you know, I mean, you guys, I mean, with without even anything being said, you have a common uh, like kind of like an agreement. You know I mean, yeah, like, hey, don't snitch. Don't sweat me and I ain't going to sweat you, motherfucker. I yeah, mean, straight up, straight up. Really? Hey, brother. Hey, gracias. First of all, I want to say glad to be on Hoodstocks, my boy. Uh, I, I've seen a couple of the podcasts before. I like the dialect and uh, let's let's fucking do this shit, my boy. Let's do it, Doug. I mean, I, I, I didn't ask you, bro, but I named this. George Perez gone wild. What do you mean? Gone wild, homie. Have I gone wild? I, no, I want you to go. We, we're going to go buck wild oh, on this yeah. motherfucker. I mean, we ain't going to hold nothing back, dog. You know what I mean? We ain't going to hold nothing back. I mean, man, brother, we are in, we're in a tough year right now, bro. Nah, dog, this ain't tough, brother. Like, uh, tough is like the shit that you did when you were probably, you, you like, hey, dog, I'm not trying to kiss ass, but like you smell like you've been in the shoe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a fool that knows that I do the mandatory routine, I fucking intro. It's like, you know, I, I was never on a crazy yard, maybe reception, and I did my overtime at reception. Like, but uh, but like compare this quarantine to you being in the shoe. This is a fucking walk. You know what I mean? Like, this is chill. This is really nothing. Like to me. This is like uh this is my comic side speaking. This is like being a Jew with the privilege. Yeah. Like, hey, we're not allowed to go outside because they're gonna trip, but if we go make them money, we can go outside. Yeah. That's just all that it is. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know. I'm fucked up. No, nah, it's all good. And I I mean, I agree with you, brother. You know what I mean? But as uh a couple of homies have pointed out to me, made it a point to point out to me. I'm a domesticated animal these days, dog, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, in my six, seven years of being out, um, is, all, is all I do is compare to my new life, the new lucky, my, my homies from my hood, dog. You know what I mean? From Highland Park, they say, oh, that's a new lucky right there. And we say, we love you. They, they, they yeah. always, they, bro, they always tell me, dog. They're like, ah. Oh. I mean, they, anyways, bro. Um, so I, I compare it to that, dog, you know what I mean? But just everything that's gone on, bro. And I mean, the quarantine is one thing. Like, we do not necessarily know. I mean, I don't know what to believe, dog. Yeah, I just, it's I, weird, I, mean, I just know when and it breaks my heart. <laughs> it breaks my heart to hear, like, all bullshit aside, it breaks my heart to hear that in, in the uh, old folks' homes, like, they, they dropping like flies, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, like, grandmas and grandpas and shit. Like, they, in New York, homie, they, they stacking bodies in U-Hauls, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, it's kind of like if, like in the year 2020, there should be a movie called like, you remember when you were little and you were like, I wish all the old people died because I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> that shit happened in 2020, dog. Yeah, no, you know, and like. I really don't have no heart, but like I hate to say it, but like everybody that's old and I love is already dead. So it's kind of like I'm not scared of this shit. Everybody that I love right now is young and healthy. Check it out. Are you scared to die though? Are you scared everybody to die? Is. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I'm not I I'm am, not though. scared to die, but I'm like scared to really die. In 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 pain and suffering. No, like I I'm not scared to die. I'm scared to die, and nobody's like, hey man. Who's the best comedian in all time? They're like, Dave Spell. And I want this one little Mexican be like, nah, dog, there was this Cholo named George Perez. I related to that motherfucker more than anybody. Like, I want to live like fucking Achilles and Troy, dog. You got to feel your legacy, brother. You're not yeah. done. Your, your, your book is not done yet, dog. Oh, hell no. And like, right now, I'm just, I, I'm on like on a PG folder right now. Honestly, bro, when you, yeah, no, I get that. <laughs> no, but check it out, though, dog. In, in comedians that I love, bro. Are, a lot of them are older cats, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, now me and you are the same age. We, you know, we early forties, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Forty three. I mean, bro, we babies, dog. Oh, I know. I mean, it takes a long time. It it takes a long time, man. And I'm not even tripping though, because like I, you know, what's weird? I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. Check this out, Lucky. I've been on HBO, Showtime, Comedy Central, MTV, every major podcast in the game. I have a movie that's in theaters, and not one comedy club has my picture on their wall. But I perform at the biggest clubs in California. So check it out, bro. This is a question. So check it out. You see right here, bro. Like I just make notes, dog, because I've done a lot of drugs and shit, dog. And sometimes I just forget. I, I can't remember everything, dog. You know what I mean? Um, but on that note, I have something written down right here asking you, I mean, bro, like why? Are you being discriminated because you're brown skin? Are brothers, are black comedians showing you love? Like, what's going on right here, bro? In regards uh, to that, is it mm, politics? Mm, you know, uh, you got to look at it like uh, when, when something bad happens to me that like I don't agree with, I look at it like, okay, let me flip the script. What I've done to this person, let me see if I would react how this person reacted. Uh, like why you know what I mean and then in my head I was like you know what hey I understand what's going on right now like I'm a new fool cause like I was doing comedy then I got locked up and then I got back out and I'm doing it again so there's these everyone that's at the club now is new what do I owe them so I just went back out there do it again and uh, I kind of like it because when it comes to the time it's like uh pressure creates diamonds you know what i mean and uh you you can never hold anything down you think you can but pressure is gonna get you and i'm, I'm cool with it bro I, i'm i'm happy the brothers everybody shows me love you know yeah. what i mean everybody shows me love I've, i i can do all those rooms you know because i, they, I, I and i look at it from this point of view in regards to okay so let's let's look in current time right now so uh -huh. current time right now we're in the uh, south central la area we have young african brothers um disrespecting our mexican vendors right <laughs> i mean hey, they I, think I, it's I, funny hey, they clowning bro hey, i was kind of hurt that none of them fuckers jumped me so i could have got paid yeah I mean, I mean, no, they're, they're breaking bread. Uh, the motherfuckers are coming out the closet and be like, bro, oh, like, you got slapped? Uh, Let me get you $10,000. Damn. Yeah. For real. I was like, jump me, motherfuckers. I mean, we can we can stage this. We can set this shit up, dog. Yeah, I'll fucking. You know I mean, I'll blackface, homie. I don't give yeah. a fuck, dog. You know what I mean? I'll put, I got a wig. I got wigs, dog. You know what I mean? And it's just not for the freaky shit. It's just nah. some other shit. But anyways. <laughs> hey, on the real, though, I, I was looking at that shit going like, Wow. You know what I mean? Kids, you know? They're just having fun. Yeah, not not knowing. And it's, I mean, fuck, dog. 
I remember robbing biceps for their checks. <laughs> Check it out. So hold on real quick. Tell me I'm wrong. You're hundred percent right, dog. Cause in the nineties, homie, we robbed the biceps all the fucking time, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's just a different generation where people were recording this shit, dog. Maybe back in the day, dog, if we recorded us fucking robbing the elote, man, the homies would come and slap us up by the head. Like, fool, we shouldn't yeah. make that fucking video, homie. That's my fucking feel right there. Or that's so-and-so, homie. And, and, and but it's just a different time, bro. You know, but I get it, homie. I mean, I don't really take it crazy to the heart like some of these other cats because I'm a I'm, I grew up in the '90s like you, my G. Yeah. You know what I mean? So back then, homie, like it was open game, homie. You know what I mean? Hey, open like, game, bro. Hey, imagine if there was a cell phone when me and you were in seventh oh, grade. Oh my god, I wouldn't be here, bro. Exactly. You know what I, mean? I would have, bro. I would have like I, they would have fucking me tooed me and all yeah. or whatever the fuck, bro. They would have you know I mean? me us. <laughs> That's the 13th time they've done. <laughs> yeah, dog. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, fucking, I would have been fucking. So you grew up in Highland Park your whole life? Yes, sir. Most yes. most of my life. Where bro. did your family migrate from? My, so so uh, let me, let, I'll tell you a little bit about, my, about myself, which I was going to tell you a minute ago when you brought up the Jewish thing. My pops is Russian Jewish, dog. Damn. My mom's Mexican, dog. Damn. So check it out, dog. So when God went, I mean, God must have felt humorous that day, dog. He must have been high. <laughs> yeah, he, you know what God did? Said, you know what? I'm going to fuck with this dude's life. And I'm going to put him in L.A., homie. Wow. Like, bro, he really kind of fucked me over on that shit, dog. I mean, I embrace it to this point in my time, at my, the age that I'm in. But when I was younger, bro, it was just so hard because, I mean, Mexicans don't 100% accept you. These side don't 100% accept you. Like, who are you? So I, 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 I guess it, it just it built it helped me build character homie and it helped me build who i am you ask me what i am homie i'm a motherfucking mexican homie you ask me who i am homie i'm motherfucking russian jewish dog you know what i mean yeah. like bro like real shit like i represent for the best on both sides dog and i love and I, I love the culture la is a melting pot homie what can, it don't like what can hey, you do dog you know hey, what i mean hey homie i i boned a fucking russian el salvadorian the other day dog it's just <laughs> But you better you know, hope you don't get her pregnant, homie. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be fucking that kid over, dog. But like <laughs> Russian, Salvadorian, Mexican. Like, God damn it, homie. Yeah, it was weird, eh? It was weird. I mean, what do you mean? Was the pussy weird or what? Like, well, man, like this is like nah, it was weird because like everybody else fucked her, and I didn't even know. I thought like, <laughs> like, like, like you ever you ever bone a chick? And you're like, damn, girl, if you were a dude, I would kick it with you. Like, your feet, <laughs> man. Like, hey, homie, she would bone me, leave me drugs, fucking make me food, and just be honest. Hey, for the guy that, the guy that cares about me more is going to give me more than you, I'll get at you later. Check it out, my boy. <laughs> I No, bro. Not everybody knows about that, dog. Yeah. You know, and so let me tell you like this. So I used to have, uh, I used to do a lot of, I, once upon a time ago, I was I, I was an acting drug dealer. And I say that like that because I did more than I sold. You know what I mean? But anyway, oh, yeah? I was one of them dudes, dog. You know I mean? Don't get high <laughs> your own supply, homie. I was doing all that They're shit. like, Lucky had a pound. He's only selling 20s now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real shit. Bro, one time I cut my fucking dope with fucking this horse vitamin, homie. Methamphetamine. I cut it with horse vitamin. Horse yeah, vitamin that. is like a crystal type of fucking thing, dog. You know what horse I mean? Horse vitamin? It's, it's horse vitamins, bro. And, if, and, and so I stepped on it, homie, because I was being a greedy Fuck, I was doing too much dope, homie. You know what I mean? And so I stepped on it, homie. And so when I stepped on it, I ended up sitting on it, dog. And so if I'm sitting on this shit and I'm not moving it, then I'm doing it, dog. You know what I mean? Great and up. so what this shit did to me is it made my fucking nuts hurt, dog. It gave you blue balls, dog. Horse, you smoke horse vitamin in a, in a motherfucking pookie. I'm not proud of this shit, dog. I'm, but like, it yeah. is what it is, bro. Yeah, I'm a fucking bad drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Real no, shit. but like since you're my age, I know you. Okay, do you remember when there was no glass? Yeah, you remember it was, when it was just it was crank, crank, crank. Yeah, it was pink champagne. It was white rock. It was lemon rock. It was a bathtub dope. The biker shit. Bro. Yeah, straight that up. shit was fucking crazy, bro. My shit would be like boom, 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 right? boom, boom. I said, oh shit, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm only 18, 16 years old. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a heart attack. Yeah, but like it was weird because like I I have memories of it, and I'm like. I remember the when Speed and Crank first came out, it was easy to be successful on it. It didn't give you like the crazy shit this new shit gives you. 
You know what I mean? To me, it was the chronic of this shit. Yeah. Because, hey, dog, back then, I would smoke that shit on aluminum foil with a motherfucking pen. The pen cap. I mean, not the pen barrel. I'm sorry. Yeah. The barrel. Yeah. Like, hey, oh, homie, do you remember that shit? Like, when it was just like... And then, like, I remember being, like, 18 and just... I would fuck the shit out of my fucking chick. And then I would clean everything, <laughs> stay up till seven in the morning, pretend I slept, wake up, and my mom be like, "Hi, mira, alguien me quiere ahora." And I'd be like, "All right, I'm gonna go to school. See you later." And, uh, you ever see the you ever see the Energizer Bunny with that motherfucker like pop 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 pop? Yeah. You know what I mean, well, I was the Energizer back then, but I was like. Oh, yeah. me, they call Maniaco. me jack, jackhammer hands, dog. If I wasn't fucking, I was jacking off, dog. You know what I mean? It, oh, my God, dog. Yeah. Was, I mean, and then also, too, dog, I had a thing that I just like to rob, dog. You know what I mean? I fucking... Oh, Home invasions and shit back then? Or, nah, or like, just, just fools like, on the street? Anybody can get it, bro. You know what I mean? But there came a point in time, dog, in my criminal history where, where I said, you know what? Enough is enough. I will not ever take from... Uh, a hardworking uh, individual, someone that works hard for themselves. So from that point on, I only crimed on criminals. You know what I mean? So if you told a gun or if you're from a gang or something like that, bro, you were fucking 100% open game and I was coming for you, dog. If you sold dope down the street, homie, I'd befriend you, dog. You know what I mean? whoop de whoop whoop ba 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 We do business. But as soon as you slipped up, and it wasn't my intention to do you wrong, dog. You know what I mean? But if you slipped up and you weren't from the turf, dog, you know what I mean? And you've been benefiting from my turf, homie, you know what I mean? Then you know what you're open game and I'm having a bad day and you're going to, you're going to, you know, you're going to pay for this shit, dog. At the end of the day, if you didn't grow up in my neighborhood and you're slanging, you got to pay. 100%. Right? Yeah. That's what's up, dog. And so, and so check it out. Speaking of your neighborhood, homie, say you, you, I mean, right now you leave from here, homie, you go to the liquor store, dog, and somebody runs up on you and they hit you up where you from. Where, I mean, where you from, my G? I'm from the city of Orange. I'm from a neighborhood called Sois, S-O-I-S, Somos Oranges, Insane Soldiers. We started off as a party crew. And at 17 years old, 16, we started blasting fools and no longer could be a party crew. And it's weird because, like, we, we should be from the local neighborhood, but all our uncles and theos would not let us get in, so we made our own. And since we, we put a lot of work in, like, you couldn't, like, it couldn't be let go. It was weird. Yeah. What they call you? Don't they call you shotgun? Yeah, they call me shotgun. Shotgun, dog. I like that, dog. I like shotgun. Dog. Yeah. I, I've, I've, I mean, I've never met a shotgun I didn't like, dog. You know what I mean? Because there wasn't a lot of cats that they named shotgun, <laughs> homie. Uh, like, oh, that's a, oh, that's shotgun right there. Sound like, like a drug dealer. <laughs> nah, but I'm just saying, bro. Like, I'm just saying, like shotgun, homie. Like, yeah. That's not. That's not fucking sneaky, cause yeah. like, oh, sneaky. I don't want you in my house, dog. You know what I mean? That's not motherfucking <laughs> midget, homie. Like, homie, you too short. Shut the fuck up, dog. You know what I mean? Like, this is shotgun right here, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? And shotgun, homie. If you got a, if you got a black asshole named shotgun, bro. I mean, you had to earn that shit. Hey, dog. I was a very different person back right then. Yeah. Come, come on, me you too, know. Bro. Yeah, bro. Me too, dog. Like, uh, yeah. You know. My community consisted of Mexicans, Filipinos, and Samoans, and Indians. Damn. Okay. And 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 like it was weird because like I I tell like like Orange County don't get too many black people. Yeah. And the black people that I got were all athletes or thugged out motherfuckers. It was weird, eh? Like, and uh. I'm glad that I got to witness and see all of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Because like, man. hey, dog, how many motherfuckers grew up around Samoans? There was no Samoans in Highland Park. That was too no, far. No, I mean, that was out there in, I think, uh, Wilmington and uh, Carson. Har 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 Carson, yeah. yeah. 100 Carson, dog. We got homie right here. You, oh, you Samoan, my dude? Just love He's Cuban, eh? <laughs> Is he Cuban? I, I like a Samoan. We got the homie side, uh, side, side dick. dick Eddie. Yeah. Uh, where you at, G? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we got the homie sitting right here. He's a big motherfucker and shit. I, I mean, they, homie. Hey, lucky, hold on. Now, hey, hey, did you know Samoa is the smallest place to never be invaded? Huh. You know why? Why? Because they're all bouncers. <laughs> 
Hell yeah, dog. Imagine that shit. It makes sense. You're trying to evade the like, you can't get in with those pants, who's? Yeah, I mean, you ain't coming in this motherfucking island, homie. You know, bro? That's some weird shit that I think about, dog. You know what I mean? I need to do some research on Samoa, bro. I need to, I need to, honestly, because I I mean, there's two of them. There's a European Samoa, right? Is it New Zealand? Samoa? No, there's New Zealand and then America Samoa. Okay. There's two different ones. But yeah, they're different and the same. So check it out, Don. Uh, let's digress a little bit. Um, I seen you on the uh, Joey Diaz podcast probably about a week ago, bro. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And, and it seemed like uh, the big homie uh, Joey Diaz uh, was very uh, cautious in regards to... Um, you know, the proper uh, oh, PPE. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and it made sense because I, I see the homie. I don't know him, but I, I love him. And I feel like he's a legend in this game, brother. Fuck I yeah. love Joey Coco Diaz. He's got he's got his podcast, What's Happening? Church uh, what, the what Church it? of What's Happening Now. The Church of What's church. Happening Now, bro. You know what I mean? That dude, I love that dude. But I was like, all right, well, it makes sense. Big homie's a little, he seemed like a little bit overweight, so he might need to like trim down. So, I mean, people that, uh, 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 no offense, I to Getty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Um, but I'm just saying, no, bro, you know what I mean? Like, people that are overweight, they just kind of like, I see him walking and doing shit, bro. You know what I mean? But he was, you guys were masked up, bro. Yeah, he was like, check this out, cocksucker, join. <laughs> Show up to the fucking podcast, park your car. You don't got to spray shit. Just walk up with the mask. Bandana. I don't give a fuck if you're trying to rob me like heat. <laughs> don't try to shake my hand. We good, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. Hey, that shit is tight. I mean, that's how I pictured it, bro. No, that's like, how I really thought about it. Hey, the weird part is as I show up and J- Joey didn't know how fucked up he was because Lee didn't even have a mask on <laughs> And I showed up and I was going to be like, hey, where's your mask at? But I was out of my place. It was their pad. Yeah. You know, me and Joey both got masks on, but Lee don't. And Lay dog, he did this shit like a fucking G. <laughs> I'm like, when the fuck is Lee going to put his mask on? <laughs> Get my head? <laughs> I'm like, dog, this was going to do without the mask. I'm going to take mine off too. Yeah. Joey's like, keep that mule, Lee. <laughs> Lee puts on a fucking song. Joey's all rocking now, taking the mask off, scratching himself, putting it back on. One second before the podcast starts, he goes, put that fucking mask on, cocksucker, I'll fucking kick you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> put that shit on. He's like, boom. Hey, dog. Yeah, it was. Hey, man. Uh, did you know that Joe Rogan on his podcast, he has a doctor that tests you before you go in? Yeah. And you have to wait 30 minutes for your test result, and then they allow you to go in for the COVID 19. Yeah, I mean, if I mean, uh, so check it out, bro. Let's let's, <laughs> let's 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 talk on that. That's dope, dog. I, I, I know I love that you brought that up, bro. Yeah, because so, you did it to us to today, uh, to, to my extent and to my ability <laughs> of my resources, right? You know what I mean, like yeah. uh, Joe Rogan uh, is the highest paid podcaster in, in the, the fucking world, world at 30 million. Uh, thirty million dollars a year, which is reported on Forbes. It's something I just looked up. So, so oh, as wow. soon as you said that, bro, we have such a like plug. Plug your podcast real quick, bro. Plug George quick. Perez stories. Hey, subscribe to that shit right now, motherfuckers. That's just my boy. Yeah, subscribe to that shit. George Perez stories. These dudes are lit with the homie side to right here. You know, what I mean, we gonna get on this shit in a couple weeks too. Hey, Pete Zach. Game. Yeah, hey, Pete Game though. Um, bro, thirty million. Yeah, bro. I hey, mean, I heard I mean, there's more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's just re- what's reported, right? Yeah. I mean, no, because he has all the sponsors, bro, yeah. right? The sponsors are killing yeah. it, dog. But it's just like, so Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan taught me to be smart. I mean, research shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, don't be a dummy, dog. Mike Tyson said, hey, you know what? With his hot boxing uh, podcast, I don't know if you guys fuck with it and shit, but uh, Mike Tyson is just like, man, just be real. I mean, this is shit that I know, dog, but this is, I take notes when I watch other people's podcasts, dog. You know what I mean? And then I watch uh, 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 Shay 4 or 5. I like Sway in the morning. Sway, he 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 is very, um, how can I say it? Um, when someone is, 
the, the, like not a medium, but somebody that will find reasoning. Yeah, they, just they will find reasoning. Thinking instead of being aggressive. Yeah, instead of just like no, 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 no. Fuck you, you fucked up. Like, well, yeah. okay, well, you know, well, why did you do that? You know what yeah. I mean? You know, like, uh, and I, so I, I just these are people that I listen to, bro. You know what I mean? And I take notes, but I love Joe Rogan, bro. How, how do you? I mean, what's when when? So let me ask you this question: When Joe Rogan comes, when you hear Joe Rogan's name, what, what's the first thing that comes to your head? The first thing that comes to my head. About the alpha brain, dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, I met Joe Rogan right after him and Carlos Mencia had that beef. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, I've seen that. Like right after that, I was working for LA TV back then. I was doing this uh, show called Man on the Streets, where I would go and I'd interview like people that I knew. And since back then, I knew people that were famous, and they were just doing me parros. Like, hey, George, I, I'll do your interview. And then I, I asked Joe Rogan to do the interview, and uh, he was a cool ass fool. But like, he transitioned. From when I first met him, he was a, a comedian on Fear Factor, barely doing UFC, and he was with it though, dog. But like, I don't know. Like you, you ever look at somebody and be like, "Damn fool, you could be a bully. You're a feed me motherfucker for being cool, for making everybody feel comfortable." That's what I felt. So, so do you think that Joe Rogan's uh, biggest uh, like attribute would be um, that people respect him for his knowledge, but they also respect him because he could probably beat a lot of cats' asses? You know um, what? He's. Uh, I mean, is that what you yeah, mean? Bro? No, like what I mean about Rogan is, is uh, I might have missed the bus, man. Sorry about that. Dude. No, no, you're fine. I do uh, he is someone that can beat your motherfucking ass, but he's not even gonna try to teach you how to fight. He's going to be like, yo, full check this out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in your head, you're thinking like, damn, this fool's going to teach me about my routine now. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, this fool gave you some knowledge. And he'll he'll do that on the other end too. You know, like, like he gave me those alpha brain pills. You know what those are? Alpha brain? I've heard of it through them. They're called uh, memory mass. Like when you take this shit, I would recommend it. I, I take them when I podcast. Your refresh and your memories, like, <sighs> does it work? It works, dog. Yeah. It, it, it even worked. Because, like, Joe Rogan, it was funny. He was like, I seen him right before this quarantine where shit was done. And I was barely going. I, I, I stopped smoking cigarettes for a month and a half. Yeah. But, like, when you get something else up, something else comes in. Yeah. Crack it. Yeah, I've done that, motherfucker. You know? <laughs> Look at those teeth that are gone. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 trip out. Hey, <laughs> hey, trip out. Let, let me let me say this real quick, bro. <laughs> if you ain't ever lost a tooth doing drugs, then you really ain't doing. You really weren't hey. doing that motherfucking drugs, homie. Straight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. We all got the same tooth missing right here, bro. Straight why up. is why does drugs take number uh? 39. Because I don't know what that's it is, where, bro. That's <laughs> where you shoot the fucking skunk down. <laughs> yeah, trying to be all cool in front of the fucking hood rats and shit. Just blow it out the side. Like, what's happening, girl? You want to get turkey based right now or what? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's crazy. So, uh, so th this thing that you do is called, uh, what is it called? Alpha, Alpha brain. brain. And I did cocaine on it. Okay. And like, Joe was like, what happened? And I was like, dog. That shit made me remember every drug dealer's phone number that I've ever got in my <laughs> life. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. So it, it really fucking works, dog. Send me the link to that, dog. I mean, I need some alpha brain. Dog, I got you. I got a hey, when you come do my podcast, I'll hook you up because they they give me and I, I, I hook. It's like a hundred bucks a fucking little bottle, dog. Damn, homie. This shit like you remember the movie Limitless? Not in the budget. <laughs> not in the budget right that, no that is a lot of money a hundred dollars for a vitamin budget. i mean for me it is bro i mean some cats joe rogan he i mean he it's his he owns it yeah motherfucker i love joe rogan dog joe rogan is if you ever talk to joe rogan bro just tell him hoodstock sends love and respect brother for sure for yeah, sure real shit so what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the name joey diaz 
<sighs> Coco, Uncle Joey, Mad Flavor. I met Joey Diaz probably in 2003, 2002, 2003. I was barely starting doing comedy. I'm like, hey, homie, I'm talking three, four months in this shit. And we were doing comedy in Anaheim off Harbor and Chapman. It's a place called, uh, you remember the 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 Peppers? Mm -hmm. Remember those clip called Peppers? Those were popping back in the hey, day. Hey. Yeah, they still <laughs> popping? You know, they're gone. But I know. I mean, my, so is my social life. Gone. <laughs> right? Got an old lady. <laughs> so oh, they were doing a comedy night there, a Latino night. And I was... Uh, I was a rookie on the show. Like, I was new, dog. And Joey Coco heard of me because of the, like, I had like, I had like a little buzz going. And I remember he walks up to me and he's like, hey, George Prince? I'm like, what's up, my boy? Joey Coco Diaz. He's like, he's like you knew him? Like, yeah, I knew him. I heard of you. So that fool goes, hey, on stage, you're doing jokes about cocaine. Are you, are you about it? I was like, what do you mean am I about it? I was like, hey, man, do you have a little bump for your Uncle Tony? <laughs> and hey, dog, like, everybody, like, was, like, flocking to him. This is the first time I've ever, this is 18 years ago, 17 years ago. I give that fool like fucking a gram and a half in a little bag. I'm like, go ahead, do a bump. That <laughs> fool fucking rolls any kind of bill, puts it in there, and does half of the fucking sack in one bump. You big greedy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Gets off stage, he goes, hey, come here. He writes down three phone numbers. It was Jeff Garcia, Edwin San Juan, and Juan Garcia. These were three of the most major Latino underground comedians of this time. And that's how it all, hey dog, he led me to where I needed to go. Yeah. Woo, that's love. That ain't love. I know Joey's a real one, bro. Yeah, I know he's a real one. Though. Like that, dog. Yeah, like, dog. And then after that, I started opening up for Jeff Garcia. Jeff Garcia is fucking dope, bro. Yep. And then, like, I met Felipe Sparza, Martin Moreno. Hey, dog, after that, I met, like, hey, fool. This is 2005 now. Let, let, let me, were you busted in 2005? Um, and yeah, in 2005, I was in a Susanville uh, three yard, dog. Span Yeah, go ahead. 2005, I was doing comedy at a legendary place called Casa Latina or Sp Wild Coyote. Span Span <laughs> And, uh, the lineup would consist of Jeff Garcia, Felipe Esparza, Edwin San Juan, Alonzo Bowden, Ralphie May, Joey Diaz, Oscar De La Hoya would be Ooh. in the crowd, Willie Barsena, like, hey, dog, Legends. Yeah. Heat rocks. Hey, homie, it was some weird fucking shit. And I got to give a lot of that to Joey Diaz. He's still leading me to this day. Damn. Hey, this is going right with us, dog. This yeah, is, this is going wild right here, bro. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Kingdom uh, Studios for dropping that five dollars on the motherfucking super chat. Much love. You better drop more than five, motherfuckers. <laughs> nah, that's dope, bro. I appreciate it. No, every, gracias. Every, yeah, uh, shout out to all hundred and eight uh, uh, live people that are on that here good? right now. Yeah, that's that's beautiful, my G. I, mean, I know it's, it's one hundred and ten. Just bounced up, dog. Um, what are they saying? What are they saying? They're saying, so this is what's dope about live, bro. Yeah, I've never seen this. This is what's dope about the live, bro. And we're going to get the questions, dog. Thanks, dog. Now we're going to do live. Right. <laughs> Give us more tweaker stories. <laughs> shout out to my homie Smiley. I see you, my G. Hey, shout out to my boy Shooter right there. I see you. Small town OC, homie. Frank Gregory. Hey, these are my Gs right here, dog. They always Tony Diaz. Uh, King, uh, 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 I see, I don't know what the fuck, I, I just missed <laughs> it, bro. I mean, but, hey, dog, my, my, I to, so hey, I can hey. edit the shit, I can do camera to camera, and whoop de whoop whoop the camera we have right here, that's just a fucking, uh, that's just a Logitech, uh, uh, regular cam, it looks, hey, homie, it looks like, uh, 
It's four uh, Star Wars. <laughs> it can go up to four K. You know that little ass bitch. Huh? That's day. That's that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll be like, I seen it on your third hair in your nostril. <laughs> <laughs> that third hair is having a great time. Hey, you want to hear a crazy new joke? I thought of. Hell yeah, let's shoot it. Shoot it. I did so much coke the other day. I helped the Yorona find her kids. <laughs> Oh shit! Hey, you know one of my favorite things you 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 let's on fucking YouTube, bro, is your fucking Rod's dress for less, dog. With Mexicans uh, on me, my boy. You know what I mean? That shit is fucking hilarious, dog. Uh, thank you, my boy. I, and I've added to it. And like, I, I'm when this quarantine shit's over and shit gets back, I'm gonna drop my special. I'm gonna do an hour on on Netflix. Nah, I'm gonna do an hour and just put it out on my own shit. And I'm gonna let them know they've been slipping. Where are you gonna do the hour at, bro? Because they have been slipping, dog. Where are you gonna do the hour at? I'm debating right now. There's two spots. Two spots. I can't say them, but like, you know, no, no disrespect to my hometown, but my hometown wants me to do it at a theater that only holds 400 people. There's no disrespect, cause fuck, I love hometown. I mean, it's like a dive bar. Yeah, I mean, sometimes sometimes the best conversations I have on are in dive bars. No, but I this mean, is I don't a theater at home. Uh, I get you, and it's brother. a church. I get okay, it's a church, I, and I, I kind of feel the church. Even wants better, to, the church wants to punish me. Do some cocaine in that bitch. I will, <laughs> but like I'm scared Jesus will punish me when I go up. Hey. Hey, hey, check it out. It's motherfucking 112 of you motherfuckers right now. I hope you got alcohol with you right now. Let's, hey, let's get this shit popping. We ain't playing. Uh, Side Dick Eddie right here is shroom the fuck out. Right. I mean, we are doing our thing right here. God damn. Taste that lemon. Taste that lemon. You taste that lemon? Fresh off the tree. Off the tree, my G. I can tell. Side Dick Eddie just said it right now. He said, you know what? I taste the lemon straight off the tree. Check out That's my backyard, my boy. This, 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 this lot is bearing fruit, fruit, my boy. I could tell that shit was like fresh. I'm, you know, I'm you know. No, that was like a, a lemon from Mexico. Like when you when you bite it, you can hear someone go. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dog! Hell yeah, that hey, shit bro. was fucking. Hey, hey, dog, hey check it out, shit. dog. Hey, with you, my boy, like. What's your CDC number? Shoot your CDC number. F five nine nine five eight seven, I think. Yeah, J nine four five zero six T eight nine one zero one. And then I went to Arizona, and they gave me like a two six nine seven four seven. I was having a conversation with another podcaster, and he was uh, he was like, "Look, you gotta watch out with these cats, dog." Because so I get individuals, dog, that holler at me and shit, dog. And, and and I think some of them are working for the feds, dog. You know what I mean? And and it's just so it's so weird, bro. You know what I mean? Because they 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 stroke my ego about like, bro, best God podcast ever. And I'm like a fucking soca. I mean, I mean, I'm like, oh, give me some more. Tell me how much more you like my podcast, bro. Like I love it. I love to hear it, bro. Like you trying to do something and people embrace it, dog. You know what I mean? What do you do, dog? You fucking like, oh, like it hits the heart in a different way, dog. But some of these cats, uh. My compliments are are not um they're not legit bro you know what i mean like they have ulterior uh, uh what is it? ulterior motives right mm -hmm. you know and, and and so uh a homie of mine that has a very successful podcast that i i i got to talk to him just because i have a podcast bro you know what i mean um and he said look watch out bro you know what i mean uh there's cats out there that are coming for something more than what you think, you know what I mean? And I, and and so with me, dog is you know what I mean. I'm 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 a young OG, dog, and I I know the game, bro. So sometimes my my antennas go up, and I'm like, you know, this homie's kind of a little suspect, you know what I mean? And and so this dude, he, he said, hey, you probably have this one dude that hollers at you, and he told me his handle, and I said, son of a bitch, I said, yeah, I do, dog. You know, and he goes, hey, dude, well, the dude's uh, either a federal uh, informant or he has a case. He has a case that um, he has a case that he's trying to probably get out of or something and try to give up some information. Wow. And this dude has uh, contacted me several times. Um, just trying to be cool. Like one day we was just like, hey, bro, whoop, whoop, whoop. I got a truck full of this. 
he, would you like something off this truck? And I was just like, bro, like, like I got, I, I, I mean, yeah, dog. You're like, is this the good fellas? <laughs> yeah, dog. It's, I mean, a truck, man. Uh, yeah, dog. You know what I mean? And back in the day, dog, when I didn't have a job, bro. Back in the day, dog, when when I was about, I was about the boost and I was about the like, hey, whoop de whoop whoop, get me the liquor and I give hey, you the homie, dope. How many TJ Max have you robbed? <laughs> 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 oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> this fool <is more> right here <laughs> took so much shit from fucking TJ Max and Ross. <laughs> I, I was really never that dude to be hundred percent with you, my boy. I was more of like a fucking uh, um, I, 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 you know, I robbed liquor stores, dog. I was the wow. cash register man, dog. I mean, I in in uh, in ninety five, homie, I was a sus suspect of twenty armed robberies and a Highland Park gang beating of an old man, which the one we didn't do, dog, because and I, 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 and I came out, I came out on um, back in the day, they had a uh, they had cops and they had a, a show called Life on the Beat with LAPD. It was I think a I show. Do remember that? Yeah, and we were I, and, seniors in high school in and, 1995. And, yeah, and I came out in that in 1995. Dog, oh yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, dog, because I went into a Tommy Burgers in Eagle Rock, California, dog, and my homegirl pulled through and shit. You know what I mean? That's by she, Pasadena, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, bro. And she ordered herself a motherfucking chili cheeseburger because her fat ass couldn't stop fucking eating, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was I smoked the frio, dog, back in the days when you smoked the frios and shit, and you walk yes, on the moon, and sometimes sure. you, you you stood on the curb and you look down, and you said damn that's too far to go down you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> you know i was smoking the pcp i smoked the duster matter of fact dog you know what i mean and we went through the drive through and i seen and it was like uh, one in the morning close to closing hours for tommy burgers and on the right they had the fucking um they had the freezer section on the left they had the place where they you know they made the burgers and all that shit and you order your shit and they had the money you know what i mean most importantly right and, and, and I seen that they were going back and forth. And I was like, man, fuck these motherfuckers, dog. You know what I mean? They keep on <laughs> fucking up my order every time I come through here. I'm going to rob these motherfuckers, dog. You know what I mean? So we went through wow. the shit in a motherfucking Cherokee cheap, motherfucking Jeep, homie. You know what I mean? Back Damn. in the day when they were fucking hard as fuck, dog. And, 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 and I told my homegirl, if we make a left, we go back to the hood. If we make a right, why would we make a right? You know what I mean? So she made the right, and the right was to park. I got off, homie, after she made her order. I walked in there with a 38 snug nose, homie. You know what I mean? I went up in that bitch, dog. You know what I mean? And I said, put your mother. Short clip. Yeah, because the door was open, right? Remember I told you, G? You know what I mean? Uh, 38 snug nose. I went up in there and shit, and I said, hey, put your hands on the fucking counter. You know what I mean? All the paisas. Shout out to my paisas. I'm sorry. I mean, I did, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad to you motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You know? And uh, a lot of bad <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, real shit. And, and they put their hands on the counter. I said, don't move. I went to the cash register. I pressed NS. Pop that shit open, dog. I got the money, dog. And it fucking wasn't nothing, dog. So I was pissed, homie. I was pissed, dog. I was like, man, I'm robbing this motherfucking Tommy Burgers. They've been up this. It ain't nothing. You know what I mean? I wasn't smart enough to be like, hey, there's got to be a cash stash around here. I was just fucking thrilled the fuck out. I smoked some PCP, dog. I'm walking on the moon right now. And, um... And so I was mad about it, dog. I got the money. I put it in my pocket, dog. And so I said, you know what, motherfuckers? You make me some chili fries. You make me a couple burgers, dog. You know what I mean? And so I had them fill up bags of fucking shit, Damn. dog. You know what I mean? And so I walked out. I, I felt a little better, dog. I mean, I was like, you know what, dog? You know, it's, I tell this story, dog, because I got arrested for this story, dog. Wow. That's why they went to that life on the back. Let's retract back uh, life on the beat. LAPD. It's my homie's ghost's birthday on Strickland and Figueroa in Highland Park. Shout out to my boy Ghost right here. He just turned motherfucking 47, 48 years old, 49 years old. Hey, shout out to Sarah for dropping that one dollar, dollar ninety nine game over. I love that shit. Dollar ninety nine. You know what I want to buy with that? I'm going to buy some motherfucking hot Cheetos. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm going to buy gloves for the Dollar Tree to flip you the fuck off. <laughs> You better get more than a dollar ninety nine next time. Hey. hey, everybody that I talk shit on, I'm gonna give their money. So you make sure we get it. <laughs> oh, two oh, bucks right now. Shit. Oh, seven, I got it. Hey. Sarah. <laughs> It's all like, hey, then keep on fucking sending money so this will yes. talk shit. Dude, I don't give a fuck. Nah, bro. I don't want your money, dog. You know why I don't want your money, bro? 
So check it out, dog. This I'm gonna tell you why I don't want your money, but first I'm gonna say this, dog. What am I? I had a script. I don't know. A script is motherfucking Hollywood, and Hollywood is fake. I didn't have a script. I had a timeline of said, all right, I'm going to ask George this. Because, you know, I have certain cats, dog, where I'm just like, all right, this cool. I mean, I got George fucking Perez on this bitch, dog. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I got to have my shit together, dog. I mean, I and you brought Side Dick Eddie with you, too, dog. Hell you yeah. know what I mean? Like, bro. I like, bought him just in case you had a fat chick here. <laughs> <laughs> so they'd be like, hey, bring those fools back. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Hey, but uh, on that note, though, I had wrote some shit, and it's dope because you know what? When you're kicking it with the homies, you don't need a you don't need a map. You don't need a road map. When you're kicking it with the homies, you're drinking, you're having a good time. What do we do, bro? Marinating, chilling, chilling off the top, off the top, bro. It's freestyle, homie. We ain't even rappers, bro. Nah, I can't rap. I could, but I can't. Nah. Yeah. I love this shit, dog. Shout out to all 133 of you motherfuckers. What tapped up, in right my now. boy? Love you, motherfuckers, hey, dog. Whoever out. sends me a picture of their lady asleep naked right now, I'll send you 30 bucks. Oh! <laughs> and yeah. The fucked up part is it'll be out of her account. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you how to hijack that shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, that's the goldest right. one in the book, dog. But <laughs> hey, back to what I was saying. What were we talking about? Because I wanted to, I had something I wanted to tell you about. That, I don't bro. know. That shot you just gave me fucking like threw me back a little bit. <laughs> no, we're oh. talking about the Tommy's burgers. Okay, so yeah. we're we talking about the Tommy burgers. You got busted for that shit. I did. What, do that. I, what, it was something else uh, before that, bro. I mean, oh my God. I'm but, anyways, yeah, I had a, up. we're both fucked up, dog. And this is why this is George Perez. So check it out, bro. What up? Let me ask you this, bro. Has anyone ever fucking uh, met you and been like, wait, 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 hold on. You ain't George Lopez. Oh, dog. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> no, I was there. I was there. Like, said he was there. Like, the first time it ever happened is the most memorable. I'm probably, like, doing comedy for two years. And uh, I was blessed enough to get recognized by the right people, and they wanted to give me work. And I came out on MTV and uh, Comedy Central already and LA TV are only in two years in comedy. And this fool in Utah calls me up. He goes, hey, man, they want to see you here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who? <laughs> yeah, he was like, yo, man, they've been asked. Man, I can't believe you call me back. <laughs> and I was like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> it was a brother, dog. He was smooth, dog. His name was a Reverend Durong. <laughs> Reverend Durong. <laughs> and uh, he was like, look, man, come down to Utah. I'll give you $8,000 for two shows. And I was like, what the? Hey, homie. Say no more. This is 2003, 2004. And I was like, what? Ride a skateboard there. And like back then, I was opening up for somebody. And I told that fool, hey, I need help, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I only got 30 minutes, dog. Will you do 20 before me? He was like, man, that's disrespect. I said, hey, I'll give you 800. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go, ain't that fucked up, fool? I'm giving you more than you give me to open for you. <laughs> and uh, I showed up to the venue, dog. And he was like, what's up? He's like, we got to do radio in the morning. And we go to the radio, and the fool was like, yo, we got George Lowe Perez in the <laughs> building tonight. <laughs> and I was like, that's what he put on there, dog. Lowe Perez. He changed my name. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, it, hey, dog, it was a trip. That was the first time I ever did something I never think could be accomplished. Imagine going to Utah, Mormons. And I got the strippers to come to my show. And these bitches, I did coke that night. I fucking, <laughs> I think I did Molly, but like, hey, dog, the coke was horrible. Like, every, every drug I did was horrible and fucking it was good. Fucking coke. Yeah, like, Baby it was, soda. yeah, it was married to too many people. It, <laughs> Step 
Hey, yeah. check it out. Shout out to Big Joke and Crazy Race dropping that $10. I Hell love you, yeah. See what I mean, dog? $10. Hey, have, you heard, have you heard of the homie Crazy Race? No. The homie raps, underground rapper out of LA, bro. He's out of Whittier, bro. I think every rapper is underground if you're on the radio. 100%, dog. You know what I mean? But Crazy Race is hard as fuck, dog. I love Crazy, Crazy Race. Race. What yeah. up, fool? Shout out, my G. Appreciate you, dog. Hey, bro, check it out. Um, <sighs> So th th this is the thing with Mex Mexicans, you know what I mean? Oh shit, here we go. This is the thing with Mexicans. Mex so I, uh, once upon a time ago, I did music, brother. You yeah. I mean? So the song that I played in the beginning, that was me rapping, dog. Oh yeah? Yeah, that was me. Can I get a moment of your time? Smoke a little. Uh, life's a game of chess, yeah. drugs, uh, guns, you know what I mean? I, 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 I fuck with some music, dog, because yeah. when I was in the pen, I was, <laughs> I was that homie, dog. You know, there's hey. always different homies. There's homies that make bracelets. I wrote raps, dog. You Can know I, I mean? say there, something? You go don't ahead. get mad. No, I won't get mad. But you look like, he looks like a troller rapper. It'd be, kind of, it'd be called a tribe called bench press. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dog. Why? Just look like I got my weight up on me or what? Oh, me. It looks like you just got out the shoe. Hey, bro. You know what, dog? I fucking. That I, was a good one, dog. That was a beautiful one. I love you, my boy. I'm going to keep you, dog. that joke. I mean, Sorry. Bro, just so you know, bro. I did that joke here. I'm going to take it on the road. Hey, check it out, dog. <laughs> I mean, so I'm the. I was the. So this is this is me, dog. Mm -hmm. Speaking of jokes, dog. I was the dude that I was any yard that I was on, bro. I fuck with homies, dog. That we 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 would have ciphers, dog. A bagging, bro. Oh, you know what I mean, wow. I'd be on three yards. I'd be on four yards, dog. And we in the all the crowd of homies, like everybody has a defect, dog. Like my homie Bugsy from Eastside Florence, dog. I mean, no, Eastside Torrance. I'm sorry, dog. He had a big ass nose. We we're like, man, kickstand. And so back in the day, kickstand face and whoop de whoop whoop and whoop. You know what I mean? All the jokes about the big noses and shit. And then back in the day, before I got my braces and shit, you know what I mean? Um, I had gap teeth, dog. You know what I mean? Like so, me? bro, nah, you good, bro. You good, G. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I had worse gap. I had bad gap teeth. I just took Damn. my break. I wore a retainer right now, dog. And I'm about oh, to fuck wow. it. And I'm about to put. I got an implant that I'm about to put on this tooth. It's missing, dog. Shout to Method Man. I love you, bitch. You about to you. do a room addition? <laughs> hey, nah. Hey, you know what, dog? I tell people sometimes, dog. I'm like, hey, bro, you motherfuckers always fixing up them old school cars. Well, I'm that old school car. I'm fixing up myself right now, bro. You oh, know what I mean? Okay. Hey, but no, nah, I mean, I'm not. I'm trying to be a little fucking diva about this shit, dog. Nah, dog I'm just I want saying, my teeth back too. I, yeah, I'm just saying, bro. Like I had gap teeth for a million years, bro. And every time I laughed, I laughed like this, <laughs> uh, 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 covering my mouth, homie, because I had the motherfucking piranha teeth, homie. I mean, yeah. yeah, dog. So they would bag me about that shit. But uh, what I'm back to what I'm saying because I don't get fucking off track, dog. Some we we fucked up right here, dog. Yeah, I'm a little twisted. Yeah, hey. Fucking, we got motherfucking George Perez, homie. What up? Throw some Listen, cold water on me, please. Yeah, hey. All but, baby's mamas that have no support from your baby daddy right now, hey. I'll buy diapers for three weeks. Just let me hit it once. Hey, you know what I was telling you, dog? <laughs> hey, check it out when I was saying, well, you know, you bearing fruit around here, you dog. Can you uh -huh. imagine if pussy grew on trees, dog? What would the trees look like around here, bro? Ah, you know what the fucked up part is? <laughs> is it, it'd be the only fruit black guys pick. <laughs> 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 it would be the only fruit you would have some motherfucking uh -huh. black motherfuckers in the fields right Jermaine be acting like hey dog get this shit <laughs> hey fucker your name's Jose today <laughs> hell yeah, dog. yeah hell yeah dog. cause hey. hey like hey I'm a pimp you're a pimp side dick's a pimp but the best pimps have been motherfucking black folks straight up Blacks are the best pimps of the motherfucking game. Why though, bro? Why? Why? I mean, like they can't fuck with the Juana because those are different rules. Yeah. But in America, these motherfuckers do it. And they probably file taxes on it. <laughs> I mean, do you what 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 is the? I mean, what it's, when it comes? I don't know. I mean, what does it take to be a pimp, homie? And why do most black dudes end up pimps, though? Yeah, I, I you know what some real shit is a. Uh, a lot of people, this is my definition of a pimp. A pimp isn't a motherfucker. 
that has bitches. A pimp is paper in my pocket. Ooh. That's a pimp to me, dog. Right. It's like, hey, homie, I don't give a fuck if this bitch is loyal. Is I just got 800 yeah. from this bitch. And all I got to do is hold her for a second, check her, give her a little verga, and tell my friend to spend more money on her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Hell yeah. Hey, and that's why we have motherfucking George Prevay. So check it out. I was just like, I was like, oh, hey, what, 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 what do I do? You know what I mean? Uh, do I fucking uh, do? Do I ask him about how he was raised and uh, how, what got him into comedy? Like, nah. bitch, shut the fuck up. Yeah. This motherfucking George Perez, he got a CDC number. Stop playing. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Shit, we gonna shoot the breeze like homies. Like we in the backyard bogey. We got some cotton salad on the motherfucking grill. Stop playing with it, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean, Joe's bro. No, nah, that shit sounds so good right now. Hey, I think I'm like, hey, you ever go to Home Depot and be like, hey, who can make tacos? <laughs> no, bro. I'm like, who wants to rake my shit? No. Uh, That's fucked up. No, I don't do that, dog. Hey, hey, brother. So check it out, dog. Um, let's 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 get back to the action. So we got a little sidetracks. We're having a good time. No, nah, yeah, I'm fucked up. I hope you guys are having a good time too. Everybody to hey Jennifer Jackson. I love you, girl. Oh, Frank, Mr. Frank, what up? South LA 213. Hey. Real quick, so this is what's dope about doing these live streams and shit. Everybody right now, tell George Perez where the fuck you from. Yeah, where are you from? And if you live close, I'll have my friend watch your kids so you can come kick it. My homie got a babysitting service on Craigslist. Everybody tell me, where are you from? Right now, let George Perez know where you from. Where are you from, ho? <laughs> Where are you from, homie? Australia. Look at Australia Damn. right there, dog. What's up? They don't Somebody. play with it. I always love the Australian Australia. ones, dog. Orange County, homie. Slinging that kangaroo dick out City there. City of Utah, Anaheim. Hey, what did I tell you about Utah? Yeah, 818 South Central. Oh, Florida, shit. Texas, Anaheim. Anna crime. Florencia. That's what's up. Boyle Heights. Heights, Imperial Valley. Read them all. Damn, oh nah, it's too far now. Eh? Back streets, <laughs> <laughs> Bay Area. My shout out to my homies from the Bay Area. I got I, honestly, up. dog. There's no Thanos that tap in right here, dog. Hey, for when we go to San Jose, we sell that shit out. It's all insane. Time, Real shit. Yeah, all it's insane. Time. And uh, at the end of the day, man, it's it's it comes with the whole territory of like, hey, I'm in, I'm an entertainer now. You know, and but like, there's no association. I go, I, I go up, I do my thing, I share my shit, I jump on the motherfucking train, hit the motherfucking flight, and I'm out. I've done it everywhere, dog. I've done this shit everywhere, dog. Remember that one time where we left at five a.m. Look at that shit still going, Compton. Go ahead, no, right? speak, speak on it, my boy. No, you left five a.m. Orange County, San Jose. And oh, we were back. We went <laughs> to San Jose. And we were back literally yeah. 5 a.m. Hey. the next day. So check this like out, dog. Hours the San Jose Improv manager calls me up. He goes, hey, man, I canceled. And he goes, I fucked up, fool. He goes, I thought I talked to you and I booked you for the date. I was like, what the fuck? The date, tell them what the date was going on. <laughs> what day was it? It was, dog, it was fucking Pride Weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. He was a single I, five star motel. Yeah, hey, dog. hey, homie. Dope. So, like, it was me, Martin Moreno, yeah. and back then, I used to have a drug dealer that was crippled. <laughs> Those are the best drug dealers, because they ain't going nowhere. No, <laughs> they, no, you know why? Because they can never step on it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Double whammy. <laughs> hey, so this fool's like, fuck it, I'll drive you guys yeah. there. Because the he's ball. like, I'll sell to all your fans. And he did, yeah, dog. Yeah, oh, yeah, hey, boy. Yeah. Fools were using me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's dope. Well, that's, so that's one. Hey, when you got a homie from the hood and shit, you know what I mean? Why you bullshitting? I mean, you can you can catch some good jokes, some good laughs. You can go to the bar, get some alcohol, and you can fuck with the homie right here that's selling dope, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's dope, bro. It, it was insane, man. Dogs, when we get there, that shit was uh What happened? I forgot. So we get there, the fucking gay pride prayer is going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we get there, dog. There's a gay pride going on and shit. And it was like. You're like, whoa, those are some nice Stacey Deuce. <laughs> it was weird. Like, like we were walking towards them and they were like, 
why are you guys going against us? And we're like, hey, we don't know if we're supposed to be here. Like, don't worry, we used to feel like that too. And I was like, no, nah, uh, we we're, we're, we're against the improv, right? Because yeah. that was the improv. And as soon as we got done, the school was like, hey, mommy, we're not staying in the room. Nothing. We're going straight back home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get on those wild ones, dog, because in my head, like, you know, you know this, dog. You ever sleep in a hotel and be like, nah, this is too close to my house. I'd rather go home. I don't want to sleep here because when I'm asleep, I'm vulnerable. And if I'm close, I'm just going to go home. I mean, when, when usually when I'm in them type of hotels, bro, it's it's for one thing. It's to fuck. I mean, so once the, yeah, so, right? so once the nut pops off, it's like, bro, like, yeah. uh, yeah. like baby girl, like, I love you. You know what I mean? But you, you were the shit. We had a good time. Like, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's time to depart ways. You know, I got to re up. We got to re up. <laughs> I mean, it all depends on what level you're on. Exactly. Bro. Yeah. You know That's what I mean? the mentality. Yeah, but like, nah. That we're going back home. Yeah, but I was blessed, dog. Like I was lucky to be around strippers, and they would use me, and I would use them back. So there'd be no hatred towards each other. All right, bitch, you can use me for this room, but I need some of the dope from your dude. Yes, give me a teener, and you can get this wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> hey, I was fucking, but I still left with that team. You know what I mean, my boy? <laughs> Straight up. up. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, fucking, um, sometimes uh, deals don't involve motherfucking uh, the presidential dollars and shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you know, hey, I get that, bro. I've been down that road and shit. Hey, you know what I wanted to ask you? But like, how do you feel? So you've been in this game for a minute. Yeah. How long you been in this game, bro? About 18, 19 years, but I did three years in my comedy career. And uh, I don't know. I did learn something in comedy from that, but I also lost the rhythm and pace and networking time. Which is an art, 100%. Yeah. And I, I agree, dog. I mean, um, but what I was saying, though, um, I might have forgot what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> I've been doing comedy for about 18 years. You asked me. Yeah, 18 years. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to have to take a piss soon. <laughs> the bathroom's right there, my G. You want to piss right now? To the right? To the right. All right, right. Eddie, yeah. jump in for me. In yeah, let, hey, hey, let the homie side the Eddie jump in hey, real quick, dog. Is that cool, boy? So go out here, dog. Uh -huh, to my right. Yeah, don't hit that. There you go, baby. Oh my god. Hey, so we got the homie side dick Eddie right here. He's on this uh 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 George Perez stories, which is a podcast. Let's do that. I'll get another shot. Dog. Yeah. I'm more of the motherfucking wild one, dog. I'm doing coke off titties, asses, shots everywhere. I don't give a fuck. I wild the fuck out every time, everywhere I go. Check like, it out, my boy. Do me a favor, dog. What up? Uh, when we get done with this podcast, dog, let's um let's exchange exchange information. Oh yeah, and let's get you back on here for bro. sure, dog. You know I mean, no one, definitely. We got to get side to Gaty on this shit. I got dog. some crazy shit I got to talk about too, dog. I co-host the George Perez Stories podcast. Uh, I've known George Perez for over ten years, and that motherfucker's crazy, dog. I you mean, know how, how, how did how did you link up with homie, dog? Well, you know how it is when you see crazy and you meet crazy and like oh and you God. connect with yeah, them. we're both alike. Like, bro, we connected right now. We, or I think uh, did I just make a new best friend? Are we having a moment? <laughs> Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I've always just been that cool fool. Like when someone brings something negativity to me, I'm like, all right, whatever, dog. Like you're not gonna make me be like, no, fuck that fool. Like, unless I know the facts myself. Like, um, me and George always been the same when it comes to religion and shit, all that shit. If I don't see it, I don't believe it. But if I see it, I believe it. We're one of those kind of people. You're about the facts. Mm -hmm. The facts. Like you got to see. It. I mean, I mean, like life. he was like, yo, he fucked my girl. Like, dog. You didn't see me do it. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. Always, that never happened. I mean, when it comes to homies, and so let's speak on this shit. When it comes to homies and fucking other broads, and and possibly uh, females that that might spark 
a certain type of vibe with the homie, right? Um, I mean, that's a touch. That's that that, that can tend to be, break up relationships well, with homies. Even, homie, not love. even that. Like homies, like that. That's what, that's an untouchable subject. You can't do that. But if you're my enemy, it's a different story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If it's the enemy, I don't give a fuck about that fool. But if it's the homie, of course I can never do that. I've had homies, ladies, be like, "Yo, if you fucking tell me that he cheats on me, I'll bone you." I'm like, "No, get yeah. the fuck out of here. I know this fool longer than you." I'm tripping. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I respect you for that, brother. And that's why oh, we need sure. to have you on, dog, off the rip, dog. But check it out. I I've always said, when it comes, who takes care of your old lady when you busted? Mine, you know what's crazy? My old lady tried selling my car when I was busted. So you done time? Yeah. Well, not even not in the crazy like you guys. Yeah. Just yeah, minimum. Some county time? Game. Yeah, I'm county shit. Shit like <laughs> yeah, that. You count me, but this baby. bitch couldn't even wait that long. That's all I was mad. I'm like, bitch, I'm only doing fucking a month. Like, let me get out. <laughs> this bitch tried getting my pink slip or my caddy, tried fucking forging my signature and slanging it, eh? And I'm like, what are you doing, dog? Like, come on, chill the fuck out. Like, you know hey, what I'm saying? That's how long a bitch held me down when I was in jail. Hey, let me ask you a question, though. Were you still side dick Eddie in the county jail? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, dog. I was fucking side coffee, Eddie. He was side Fifi, Eddie. I was like, yo, man. Let's who, get it straight. I was like, who wants a soda, dog? I got you today, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Like, even in jail, when I got locked up, I was like, look, dog. I'm not here that long, eh? So... I'm just trying to get the fuck out. I did get in trouble one time, though, because the fool rolled up to me, dog. He rolled up to my bunk with the National Geographic magazine. Gotcha. And he was like, this is your lady, huh? And it was some fucking orangutan <laughs> titty looking bitch. So me being mad there, I fucking popped off and, you know, gave him a little something, something. Is that and then the reps were like, yo, dog, you can't be beating fools up without our approval. So, so brother, once again, uh, people don't know, dog, but you are a big ass motherfuckers dog you know i mean like if you guys don't can't tell and shit i'm this like is fucking a, charles barkley dog like you know what I'm saying? A, I can, this is I, a big dude right here I can, go, I can go play some ball still you know i can run point all that shit I'm, what I'm, race are you bro I, I, for a while i didn't know because my mom was a whore <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know i'm just kidding dog. no dog i'm my Cuban. mom's a bitch too i'm Cuban, not a dog. bitch but only. <laughs> <laughs> i'm cute with dog but like for me for me I'm, I'm fucking like six two. I'm six two, you know. But I always played ball. So me even being, being big, like I'm still quick on my feet. All that shit. Like even he tripped out. Like we want to go play ball. He goes, dog, you can't run point. Go watch me. And I'm yeah. running point, dog. Hitting, putting the Magic Johnson before the AIDS passes. Shit like that, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Hey, well, I want you all to give it up, side dick Eddie. He just stepped in for the homie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Plug your Instagram, my G. Oh, my IG is side dick Eddie. I really don't give a fuck about my IG, dog. I just do stupid shit on there. Sometimes you see me fucking a bitch. Sometimes you see me doing coke off a of trick, shit like that. Getting high, doing dumb shit. Um, motherfuckers hate. I don't trip. That shit don't bother me at all, dog. So uh, why do they hate though, bro? No, why do they hate, bro? Why do they hate? I mean, bro? there's always haters, dog. No matter what, but but, but what, 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 what Look, is- I, I work with whores, dog. I'm a fucking manager at a strip club. I work with whores. And these bitches hate on each other. Why do and, you look like a manager from a strip club, see? bro? Hey, <laughs> How do you fit that script? And these, 100%. Bitches, these bitches hate on each other and they, they threaten to quit. I'm like, look, bitch, if you go work at Walmart, there's going to be haters. No matter where you work at, there's going to be some hater there. So either you can just excel over it or you can let that shit bother you all day. <sighs> Say no more. Give it up for side to Getty. We're going to have him soon on the podcast, and we're going to shoot all these breeds. I want to hear all his grimy-ass stories, you know what I mean? And I, I want to hear about how he became a, a, a member on on the, on, on the uh, McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? What the That's fuck am sweet. I saying? <laughs> Hey, we back. You good? How was that? How was that piss, dog? Hey, you? homie, that shit was like being a TJ and going. I gotta take a piss, and you go and there's no one waiting. Just went in there, did like a fucking minute and thirty eight second piss. <sighs> huh? I never pay the cops off. I never even talk to those motherfuckers. I just I find my own shit. Yeah, and TJ, fuck that. I, hey, dog, I remember. I mean, do you gotta dumb. pay the cops off and TJ to take a piss or what? Sometimes you do. Yeah. But like, yeah. like one time, there was a homegirl from my neighborhood named Sonia, and she was like, pull over in this alley. I gotta take a piss now. We did. Fucking. Bro. And the cop came. He's like, get get this, get this, get la manda al car center. And I was just like, I got forty bucks. He's like, 
Dile que se pone su cipo. Hell yeah, no, hey, simple as that. That's the best $40 I've ever spent in my yeah. life. <laughs> you, um, know what I mean? you know, say no more. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. The fuck the part is she bought my homeboy, not me that night. <laughs> and the reason you're free and you fucking gave him the choncha. Hey, you know, sometimes, bro, you can't even, yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead, bro. Go out there, dog. Uh, make a right, dog. And uh, piss your brains out. Yeah. Enjoy. Comment. What's up, my boy? How we doing? How, how, how they responding out there? We got 146 fucking people live on the chat right now. We're going to ask questions in a minute. All right. Okay, yes. Yeah, we're gonna ask questions in a minute. Shout out to everybody uh, uh, tapped in right now. You know what I mean? This is a lot of love right here. Hey, brother. Um. So you did prison time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um. Uh, that must. You said you you uh, spent three years. I did about. So they gave me three years, but it was a violent crime. So I did eighty percent. So that's like two years and ten months. Two years and ten months. Yeah. Kind of three years, right? Yeah, no, hundred percent. But you know, I'm not a dog. It's, it's I did two years and ten months. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, bro, check it out, bro. Let me tell you this right now, dog. This isn't a competition, homie. It's never a competition, bro. Time is time. And it's how you do your time, what it takes, what dictates you as an individual. You know oh, what I mean? All right, up. you get that? Come on, we know that. We yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you were in a month in the county jail, like, you know what I mean? Did you did you get did you, I mean, were you treated like a bitch in that bitch? You know what I mean? Like, um, and, and that's not something that I want to get into because I'm I'm sitting right here with you, brother, and I know you are as solid as as they come, brother. Of course, my boy. You can ask anybody that's ever been locked up. Hey, dog. I was, hey, when I was locked up. I'm, I was on TV when people were in day room because MTV, your mama was being showed because back then it was on a show called Entre Nos, 63 MTV TV, MTV two. And it would come out because you know how you had, you had your TV and you had that long antenna to, to get your digital channels. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. It would come out on channel 62, three. Cause some of them had three. And then people would be like, hey, dog, is that you? And I'd be like, yeah. They're like, what's up, fool? You're a comedian? I was like, yeah. Why? <laughs> We're watching you on TV, dog. Yeah. You're sitting right now, next to us. Hey, homie, I did prison jokes, like a show. Okay, so, so, so on that note, brother, in which I... I know that. Not everybody knows that, bro. And I know that because I'm a I'm a fan of you, dog. Oh, that's and, 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 and so check it out, dog. Like, this is what's funny about motherfucking Mexicans. This is what's funny about homies. If you fuck with somebody, and they are the brown skin, or they are they are they are uh, from a neighborhood in in Southern California, or we got homies from uh, we got Southsiders from uh, Northern California, or if you're North Daniels, this dude is. Raza, right? You know what I mean? Um, if you fuck with them, you support him. You support him. So so I, 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 I'm a fan, bro, because I support you, bro, oh, and, what you, and what you do, brother. You know what I mean? So um, I just, because Sai Degetti said haters. Now, there's haters, bro, who hates on us, our own people, bro. Yeah, but Who hates on us, our own fucking people, bro. Who's hating on me right now? Some of you cats that might be watching, and I hope not. Hey, if you're hating, donate ten dollars right now. Let us know you're hating, <laughs> and you're hating with honor. Ten dollar donations. Yeah, I'll take that kind of hate all day. Yes, hate, hate, what, what, hate. What did Dennis Rodman say? Yeah, like, you pay, I'll play for free. Yeah, I'll. You will do drugs for free. Just pay me for hating. <laughs> so, so I don't know you, bro. I don't, I don't know, know you. Either. I don't know you, dog. Until today, dog. I had. Blessing, oh, the blessing, bro, to 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 have you on my show, dog. Oh, I have thank you, my, you, my podcast, boy, bro. And and you know what? Because I, you know, I watch you, bro. You know what I mean? I watch you. I see what you do. I see your moves. You know what I mean? Well, hey, my you boy, know? you made some moves for me to see you and be like, yes, because I get a lot of fools that hit me up, and I'm like, nah, you're not working. When you hit me up, I looked you up. I said, this fool's working. Yes, I'm gonna do this shit. 
Keep thank the you. working, my boy. Thank hey, you. thank you, brother. Keep the working because we see it. So most of the cats on my thank you, dog. So yeah. so grateful, so blessed for 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 that right there, dog. Um, but so everybody that's 146 people watching, danger. That's good. I mean, I mean, George Perez. You better fucking send eight dollars for me right now. Who's gonna, who's gonna send eight dollars right? Yes. You send eight dollars right now. I'll send you a T-shirt. Yeah, and, and then and then you send me you screenshot this shit and yeah. then uh, your name and then you fucking DM me on Instagram at Lucky Sun Zoo and I will send you a T-shirt right now. Ten dollars for a T-shirt. Right if now. you send me twenty dollars right now, I'll let your Thea do a fucking bump off my nipple. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, <laughs> hey, bro, but like. I watch your shit, dog, and sometimes so I watch some. I, I, I so some. My, this is my this is my my shit right here. How long you been podcasting for? No, 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 Chip. Uh, only a year. We're only gonna about to hit a year, bro. Oh you know wow! I mean? So 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 this is my shit right here. Um, criminals, gang members, drug addicts, bums, comedians, marines, and homies. I mean that that was what the yeah <laughs> that was what the drug addicts and all that other shit that's the homies, bro. You know what I mean? But I and you know, but I'm just saying though, bro. Like I I, I so we 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 develop patterns in life and 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 I and I just take it as it comes, bro. But I see where we're going with this shit, brother. But anyways, back to I'm, I mean I don't mean to be all fucking all over the place, bro. Sometimes don't I trip. can be, dog. I, you know what I mean? But bro, George Perez, not George Lopez. George Perez. Perez, you know what I mean? Like this is a homie out of Southern California. It's got a CDC number. Check it out, bro. If you're gonna make so, give us, give our audience a uh, uh, a recipe. I want you to give a recipe. Are you a cook? Of course, I'm a cook. Okay, I want you right now to be a prison cook. All right, check oh, this shit no, out. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. You're on the you're on the yard. Hold on, dog. And you're let, about to cook for the homies. Let, let me interrupt. Go ahead. You know what my job was? What was it? I was the lead man of the butcher shop. <laughs> Damn. Straight up, my boy. The so I was in a dormitory. This is my last year and a half. I was in a dormitory in CR CDC CRC. The rehabilitation center, homie. Hotel California. Dog. Norco. Yes. I know because cats already hit me up so they were with you in Norco. Okay, like, yeah. And they hey, DM me, bro. <laughs> they know you, bro. Yeah. And hey, hey, dog, they know. And over there, I was working in the motherfucking butcher shop, dog. And when you when you have a butcher shop job, they give you the fireman black boots, they give you the mechanic jumpsuit, they give you the real black. Fucking Dickies fur fucking jacket with the real beanie. It's the hardest shit to wash every day, though, dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, homie, we'd go to work and we were in charge of everybody's food for every yard. We had four yards, and I would look at the order. All right, so many inmates, how many plates we got to make. And I would always take four boxes extra than I needed. But it was checked out, so they thought it was gone, and we would just share it with everybody yeah. in the motherfucking butcher shop. Yeah. Damn. And, hey, homie, I was smooth. I wouldn't take it back. I would have fools take it back from chow. All right, dog, when you come up, the homie knows to give it to you. Put that shit in your motherfucking jacket and pants, sit down, and get the fuck back. Hey, homie, fuck, dog. Like, it was on because, like, being the lead of the butcher shop, we had produce on the right. So we, like, hey, dog. Oh, man, homie. It was just insane, dog. Like, my best meal was when we made tamales on ceviche. We had ceviche because we had fake crab. And I snuck it all back to our dorm. And I snuck. You know how they let you take one cup? Yeah. You could take a cup to work. I took my cup. I put a lid yeah. on it. And I brought back paste picante sauce from the butcher shop. For four fucking days. What kind of mug? It was a plastic white cup. Okay. So back in the day, they had the hard times mug. Oh, I didn't know that. Were you there back in the day with that? No. Nah, I, okay. I was locked up in 2006. 2006. Right. Yeah, you probably like in 2001. 
I was in, I was in, uh, no, nah, I was in 1995. Damn. Yeah. I went, I went, I mean, I went there straight as uh, I was, it, I went to the pan. I was actually 19, January 1996. You know what I mean? Because I filed my case in, two, in 1995, cases. And uh, yeah, but anyways, bro, it doesn't matter who's what or what is what, you know what I mean? But it's uh, the culture, bro. So check it out, bro. What I, this is what I want you. Fuck what you brought from the cocina. Tell me what you got, what you made from store. Give them a recipe right now of a spread. Because my, right. my fans, my, my, my podcast homies, fuck fans. I mean, that shit sounds so gay as fuck, dog. I don't no, even they are, though. Cats cause they my, are. Nah, because my boys are gangsters, you know what I mean? I can't call them that shit, dog. I can't call I them. My, I can't have to call the people that fuck with me dog fans, dog. You fucking like, fan boys. I'm, yeah, I'm disrespecting <laughs> them, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to call them fucking my G's that kick it with me yeah. once in a while, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, give them a spread. Give Yo, me, you my ingredients to a spread. Your fools, spread. Fools I haven't done drugs with. This is my spread. All right. First, you get eight. Because you know what? It's, it's This isn't like, I'm not trying to show off, but we're showing off. You get eight, a couple of noodles, boy, that shit. And then on the other shit, you get some motherfucking beans, rice, cheese, Fucking, what's that other shit? Fucking cheese, beans, rice, mayo, mustard, mayonnaise, ground beef, motherfucking real packets. All right. Then on another stinger, you got roast beef going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got roast beef going. You got motherfucking vegetables cooking. Right. You got like packaged items. I don't know, dog. Like it, it was different and weird for me because I, I, uh, I, I live two lights away from. Him. I live real close to him, and we've been since quarantine even closer than ever. But this motherfucker the other day, I don't know where it's like two in the morning. We're just kicking back, high as fuck. I'm on mushrooms, coke, all that. This fool makes a spread like nothing. <laughs> Like yeah. a bomb ass spread. I'm like, damn fool, you know how to make spreads? He goes, homie, this shit never goes. Yeah, it's it, it's weird. It matters what it like, cause I can make Chinese food, dog. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like I can make a rice bowl. I can make a but like being in the butcher shop, it wouldn't be fair not to include what I brought from the butcher shop. Like, you know, I would bring roast beef. I would bring sandwiches grilled with cheese. Steak pastrami, like CRC, gracias. Hey, so check it out. I did time, I've done time in CDC, and recently I did time in ADC, which is Arizona Department of Corrections. And what's what's crazy about Arizona is they have microwaves, dog. What the <laughs> fuck? They have microwaves, dog. You know, hey, don't hate on it, bro. You know what I mean, I did it when I seen that bitch. That I, mean, I was like, oh, shit. Though. you know that, right? A hundred percent, dog. I mean, <laughs> they were like, all right, let's do it. No, but when you're in the pen, you use your resources. Oh, a mandatory. And and are you thinking about cancer? Nah, you're thinking about a quick warm up. You're you're thinking about what you can do with this microwave, dog. You know what I mean? And so. In Arizona, what they did is it, this is what a recipe that Arizona taught me, dog. Now <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, trip on this shit, dog. They used to give these tubs out, bro. They were like this, like this size right here. You know what I mean? And uh, they were for your feet. If you had bad bad athlete's feet, if you went to the infirmary, <laughs> they would give you these tubs, bro. These buckets, homie. And they were for you to soak your feet in with the medication that they gave you. So you got rid of all that motherfucking corn on the cob and all, yeah. that, shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, all, all that shit. But what the homies would do is after they would soak their feet, they would wash them out and they would make this Chinese food, dog. And so the way you made this what? Chinese <laughs> with the tub. <laughs> yeah. And the way they would make this Chinese food is they would uh so you break up the top ramens or the uh, whatever the the noodles, mm -hmm. and you put them in there, and then you you put them in this tub that you're supposed to soak your feet in for your fucking ridiculous fungus, right? And you put it in the microwave, and you'd uh, put it in the microwave until it gave it a, 
a golden brown. I mean, you give it a golden brown. And then after that, you would take it out, you put it in the bag, and then you put, um, you fill it up with iced tea, jalapenos, sausages, and you put it in there, and they said, all right. And so I'm like, all right, what do I do now, bro? And they're like, all right, put it in the microwave until it smells like heroin. Damn. Until it smells like heroin. And I'm like, all right, well, I know what heroin smells like. I mean, <laughs> well, all right, cool, fuck it. White uh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> let me put this bitch in for about six, seven, eight minutes. You know what I mean? So you put it in, and it would bubble it up. And I was like, oh, shit. That shit smells like heroin. You know what I mean? And then... What you would do is you would get this shit and you throw it in the noodles with so this thing had jalapenos, it had pork rinds, it had fucking uh sausages, uh it was iced tea, and you throw it in to the noodles that you browned and you let it blow up. I just gave you a recipe to fucking Chinese food, brother. I know. That's uh prison Chinese food. Oh. Cholo orange chicken <laughs> <laughs> but in cdc when you want to make orange chicken chinese food they don't have microwaves so what they do is they get the uh what do you call that thing again though not the hot pot yeah hot pot you get yeah, the hot, hot pot too you get the hot pot and you would cook the pork rinds in that bitch with jelly and all this other soy shit. sauce jelly mustard peanut butter it was on Talk to the homie right here. I mean, I What's like, up, homie. my boy? I like, uh, homie, no, who the fuck? But you don't understand, though. Like, I remember, like, hey, dog, like, I was lucky because, like, I had homies that worked visiting. So, like, like, hey, dog, it was just on and crack. I'll leave it like that, like a hood rat. Like, I caught. I'll I, I talk to you later, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with all the hood rats out there? Donate me oh your God. baby's dad's number. That's a bad dad, and I'll clown that fool. I was in Chuckawalla State Prison, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool, dog. I mean, that's why I love you. you on my that's life, what I dog. do, dog. Hell yeah, dog. You know I mean, uh, hey, so I had, uh, I, I, I was in Chuckawalla State Prison. And uh, that's a life for yard, too, right? No, nah, it's, it's a two yard. It's, and back in the day, it was good. Now it's not good no more. Okay. You know what I mean, and there's, the yards are so crazy now because they have 50 50 yards. Have you heard the 50 50 yards? No. So 50 50 yards are supposedly saying half is good and half is not good. But at the end of the day, neither is good. Uh, it's and all I, bad. And I had this dude trip out on this shit, fool. I had this dude call me up because he wanted to get on my podcast and he was on a 50, 50 yard. And I, and I, and I said, nah, bro, like, hold on. Like, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about your show. He's a lifer on a 50, 50 yard dog. You know what I mean? And I said, um, you know, what's going on in that yard you're at? He And he basically said, hey, bro, half the yard's good, half the yard's not good. And I said, well, what happened, bro? Because I know what's up, bro. You know what I mean? If you're on a yard too long, if you're in a yard with more than 24 hours, bro. You got to go, yeah. Yeah, then you then if you don't take off on, get off on somebody, Straight bro, up. then then you, you might as well stay there. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah. So so this dude basically said he stayed there. He he he. It was too much for him, and he hung it up. Uh, it's a wrap. He's on this 50 50 yard. I mean, even though a 50 50 yard is basically no good, homies. And um, he said, uh, he was telling, and so he wanted to tell a story about um, him being an Olympic boxer and it, it represented his book. And I said, bro, like, this may not be the podcast for you, bro, because yeah. the homies are going to shoot you down because you want a 50 50 yard dog. And I got nothing but a bunch of solid ass cats that fuck with me right here, dog. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I understand every everything is certain situations, and sometimes it's out of your hands of why the situation that you're in. But damn, bro, this might be a more of a negative than a positive. You know what I mean? So on that note, I can't fuck with you, dog. You know what I mean? And so, but before that, he gave me some information. He said that uh, on these 50-50 yards, they put boxes of condoms in the day room. Yeah, that's not a good yard for pressing our condoms, dog. I would have protected myself. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. Hey, if you're out there, donate $10 right now for being on the PC yard, you piece of shit. Hey, check it out, though, bro. <laughs> but, bro, but check it out, dog. And I said, so I asked him. You know what I mean? Because I'm on the phone with him, dog. I'm not a cell soldier, dog. I'm no, not gonna I, be. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, fuck you, fool. You ain't shit. Whoop de whoop whoop. Like, nah, bro. Like, I'm on the phone with you, dog. I can't put my hands on you, dog. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a. But off the rip, like, 
I will put my hands on you, but at the end of the day, like I'm a dad, I pay taxes, you know what I mean? I'm domesticated yeah. like the other homie said I was, you know what I mean? All this shit, but like I'm still about my life, I'm still about the business. You hit me up, I'm gonna tell you where I'm from. But at the end of the day, um, I, I, I mean, I can't fuck you with you because I can't promote what you're promoting right now because you, you took an L and that's on you. You know what I mean? It. You know, like uh, it is it is it is what it it is what it is. If you choose to live with rapists and child molesters and crazy motherfuckers and shit like that, that's, I mean, that's on you, bro. You know, yeah, I will blast straight up. I will put peanut butter on your dick and have pet bulls eat it. <laughs> Don't Michael, ever DM Michael, me. Michael I will have fat ass bitches just eat you. <laughs> and I know bitches that are down like that. Fat ass Samoan bitches, white rugby bitches from Australia and Germany. Yo, what up? Don't forget to donate to my foundation. Uh, George is my dad, but he doesn't reply to me. Hey, shout out to my homie, Smiley. <laughs> I see what you're saying, my boy. I love you, my boy. Don't get yourself caught up in, 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 in this conversation, my boy, because you stand off the, uh, stand off the rest. You know what I mean? But um, back on that note, though, bro, you know. Um, we're fucked up. We're fucked up. I'm buzzed. We're buzzed. You ready for another one? I'm, I'm good. Hey, hey, so I'm, I'm good. Take this one. one. Give me that. I got to drive, fucker. Give me that one. Nah, you ain't got to drive. Yeah. You know why you ain't got to drive? Because you're in my crib, bro. I do. I still got to drive. Bro, this check it out. Day. I've known this fool over um, 15 years. You only drive once. Check it out, bro. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. Bro, I, I got a dealer you. eight minutes away. So I'm going to send him over. Bro. I'm ready. I'm, hey. Honestly, it's been a year and a half, but I'm ready to We're go. <laughs> <laughs> Irvin, nah, Irvin, are Irvin, are you on? No, I got you guys. Dog. No, I mean, this is my crib, dick. You know what I mean? What I know, fuck, but you don't what understand, mean? dog. Like, hey, hey, Lucky, yeah. like, I got fucking three kids from four chicks. It was weird. The last one you was you got me B? No, the last one was a three. I mean, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think you got me B? No, but you know what's fucked up is what? all the moms are bad. So, like, I got some. I got custody of all of them. That's worse when the moms are bad. Yeah. Dog, man. That's worse. That's the worst you shit ever, I dog. Know. Like, like you, you were fucking everybody. But you know what I mean, like at the end of the day, you're uh, not only fucking everybody, but you're fucking a bad mom. Yeah. yeah dog. Except for one. No, I got, I got a lot. I got a lot of babies, mom, dog. Yeah, but like you're literally right. When you yeah. Literally like, right. hey, for my kids at the crib all. waiting for me sure. because I got the key for other weed so when I get wrong. back. Hey, let me say this real quick, though. What Shout out to the baby mamas out there, but my homeboy Smiley. Uh huh. My homeboy Smiley. What do you say? My homeboy Smiley is my G, dog. You know what I mean? You're out the exception, dog. Get out that shit, my boy, right now, dog. You know what I mean? What's he saying? No, nah, it's nothing. He's not saying nothing, dog. Yeah, this uh -huh. is between me and him right now, dog. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? You're out the exception, dog. He's like, you're talking to other fools, eh? <laughs> Cheating on you, <laughs> hey, hey, nah, dog. You know, because check it out, bro. This is a solid platform, dog. Mm -hmm. I mean, so a lot of cats watch this shit, dog. It's weird, bro. But I get a lot of uh, people that reach out to me. Okay. And they're like, oh, we watching. A lot of my life are homies in the pen. Oh, yeah. They watch it, bro. They're like, sponsor me. No, they don't <laughs> want to talk. Oh, no, of course. They don't want to talk. They don't want to see the story. You know what I mean? Um, good homies. That's all the brother is. Watch this shit, bro. And so having this, having this platform, bro, with some cats and some certain subjects that I have on is a very slippery slope. And I watch my step. Yeah, hey man, we know what we're saying. We know what we're doing. We know what we're passing. At the end of the day, we're just spreading love and like, like I remember the beginning. I would tell homies, "Look, dog, when you get there, just find your motherfucking car." Be, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like it's 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 sklecha, dog. I'm not here to do nothing else but give a little sklecha. You know what I'm saying? And not everybody knows that, bro. Because they're mad that they can't. Do your homies love you? Of course, oh, no, they do. 
Come on. From your hood? Yeah. yeah. They live with me still. I'm not from a hood, but it's always like you can be one of us because they know I'm yeah. forever. Orange County. I'm from the city of Orange, Soyuz. And my homeboys from all that say, I got nothing but love. You know what I mean? We're the only fools on the west side. Did I tell you about these oranges? <laughs> <laughs> from the backyard. I need another slice, dog. Is there no more beer? Mm. Oh, I would kill mm. that like an hour ago. Oh, shit. Don't try. How long is this shit? As long as we want it to be. How long has it been right now? Uh, hour, hour 40. 40 minutes. Danger. We ain't, Yo, done. we ain't done yet because I got some more questions to ask you. No, nah, I know, but anybody have got not? cocaine in the live chat? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. Tex Irvin, though. I already texted. I texted two of my guys already. Text him, bro. Quarantine is killing them. Real shit, dog. Like, I'm ready to go. Dang. Oh, you look, hey, lucky. When you come down, fuck with us and yeah. watch. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, wait. I'm wait till you come to us. I'm not even saying that then. Wait. Oh, shit. Dog, dog. Some fool came and did so much coke, one of his tattoos fell off. Yeah, no. He didn't want to leave. That tattoo was like, I'm out of here, homie. <laughs> his tattoo fell <laughs> All right, so let me, let me, so. Let me go back to my shit, bro. Go ahead, my boy. So, I, I mean, let me ask you a question, bro. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about these uh, Instagram comedians, though? Because there's a lot of homies out there doing Instagram yeah. comedian shit. Um, at the end of the day, when I see an Instagram comedian, I'm like, okay, this fool is dangerous to himself, and he's just willing to pull it all out. Like, I'm not mad at it, but I just look and I watch. I have experience of it. So I put out the content I want to put out. And I understand fools are willing to put out content without being funny. And that's cool. Fuck it. But like, it's there for you to come up. And the fan base is willing to accept whatever they want to accept. So at the end of the day, when I see an Instagram coming, I'm like, hey, you know what, homie? Good shit. Good it out there. But when I see them on a stage in a real venue, a real situation, they fold. And I'm willing to do both. I do some of it, but I'm mostly into the original art of it, my boy. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, I've done every fucking club, every venue that's out there, dog. And I've... Never done bad. What's your best fuck? What's your best joke, dog? Fuck too many. Yeah. Too many, dog. Yeah. Like I'm saying, hey homie, when this shit's over, I'm gonna drop my special. George Perez, I'm not a cholo, I just iron a lot. <laughs> that kills it already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, dog. <laughs> yeah, it does, dog. Hey, check it out, dog. You you in a backyard boogie. Mm -hmm. What's a backyard boogie? A backyard boogie to me is the motherfucking OG motherfucking party crew throwing a party in a neighborhood and all these neighborhoods showed up and there's people bar because Cholos don't have a barbecue. We don't have a fucking DJ. We don't have light decorations. <laughs> no. We would show up to them and be like, oh, shit. Yeah, and so even if you weren't invited. Yeah. 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 No, no, always be that one homie that wore the fucking Hawaiian t-shirt all baggy fucking homes just so they know we're here. <laughs> Hey, so what happens when a homie in a backyard boogie rolls up to you with a white claw in his hand? Oh, Come on, dog. God. A white claw? I'm like, look, the only white claw I do is a white line on my paw. <laughs> nah, I don't fuck a white claw, but I fuck a white jaw. A, girl, a white girl <laughs> wants to get me hit, you can white jaw me all day. Oh, shit. Wait, when, when, what's, the, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you, you're in a fucking spot? And you smell Aquanet. <sighs> There's going to be a lot of conversation going on. Because <laughs> girls over Aquanet like to talk a lot. You know, it's the fucking OG days, dog. It's kind of like, um, you know, we come from an era, dog, where bald heads were starting to be accepted, but Tres Flores was still trying to hold on. So to me, it'd be different. Like, I remember smelling Tres Flores. And Tres Flores was like a cholo that was just all about Tres Flores in his hair. He'd always have a motherfucking 
nylon, a beanie, a fucking something holding that shit back. I'm sorry to interrupt, but normally people play fantasy football draft, but I do that with cocaine on my, my text. The only people that have it is Frank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Hey. What's up, my boy? I'm fucking a little faded. I'm oh, faded. yeah, no, this is... This hey, is, I, I guarantee, like, lucky, we're gonna get you fucked up. I want to get, I want to get fucked up. I don't, I don't want to be on a podcast. Where I'm not getting this, fucked this is like up. Yeah. I'm glad he went first before us. Yeah, now we're gonna get you fucked up. We what? went through our podcast. Yeah. I hope you do, dog. I'm I mean, is, my old lady will thank you, dog. Because I'll go home and yeah. I'll fuck the shit out of her. All right, I'm <laughs> babe, I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like girls don't understand when they like when they let us go out and go on say shit, we come back like I'm like give it to me, not one taxi. I trip out on like so check it out, dog. I'm gonna put you on blast. I'm gonna put you motherfuckers on blast. Last one. You motherfuckers are watching right now. All you gangsta ass motherfuckers. The old lady don't let you go to a motherfucking bar. Don't let you go to a motherfucking strip club. <laughs> but if they let you, or if you put that in the contract of saying, bitch, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do when I'm going to fuck I want to do, and sh- shut your ass up. Bro, like, I come home, I come home to my old lady from a strip club. I'm fucked up. I'm coked out. I drank a lot. I'm ready to go. I am powered the fuck up for one mission, and that mission is to slay the pussy. If that ain't right there good enough for you, you missing the point. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? Hey, but do you... Okay, let's flip the script for... Oh, here we go. Imagine... <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine when your lady goes out <laughs> and you're there, you put the kids to sleep at 10, you fucking the keep you you've had to make food and shit. And you're like, damn, it's 12. You know, fuck this. And you go to sleep and she wakes you up, give me that dick, but <laughs> get off me, bitch. I knew you were a King Taco or somebody. Is is yeah. It's weird. And you know what's been weird is later I realized, like, damn, I was a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My lady came home begging for dick, and I was like, no, you fucking hurt me, bitch. I'm sleepy. I've been there. The one thing about uh, Rasa, women, they're strong. They're more than strong. What are they? The Rasa, dog. It's 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 a struggle to be in your homeland and then for them to tell you it's not your homeland. But still hold it down more than anybody in your land, but not to get the recognition. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, like, uh, there's no race saying, don't ever marry a Mexican chick. All these bitches do is cook, clean, take care of the kids, <laughs> suck your fucking dick all day, fuck these fucking cats do you make bitches. <laughs> Oh, you're right. You've never heard that shit. You're right. Like a Mary, a, a Mexican chick marries a white boy to like validate, hey, I'm not from the hood no more. <laughs> 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 I live in Diamond Bar now, puto. He's good. You know what I mean? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, get that other shot oh, glass. Yeah, get the big. Oh, you a big man, dog. Give me the big, dog. Side dick, Eddie. Follow him on Instagram. Oh, Stop playing with it. Oh, yeah. I followed him. I, he better follow me back. Of course. Only people are followed by are hookers, players, and pimps. Right? Shit, that's a pimp right yeah, here, Monty. You ain't fucking with us. Well, my sex is gonna be mad at me. I know. Hey, did you fucking text her? I, no, Frank's one of my gods. Who? George. Frank. Who's Frank? Frank. Frank. He's here. No, but he's. Oh, okay. Hey, let's let's ask the <laughs> homie some questions right now. Yeah, dope about the live podcast. Yeah, dog, I got you, my J. Nah, bro, never your bad, my boy. I love the back 
<laughs> yeah, I get it. My baby's mom has like three trees, and it's just a different taste. Oh, yeah, it's fresh. Shout out to the side dick guy, though. All right, that's what I bought this for. Well, I mean, when you, uh, George Perez stories, though. Oh. That's this is uh so talk about that, bro. He I met this fool working at a strip club. Yeah, my cousin was a general manager and he, he knew him when he was a little when he was 18, they brought yeah. him in the strip club. This cousin was like my boy, so like he told me, Hey, there's two fools that's not gonna get fired, and it's you and George. And I'm like, I didn't even know him at the time. All right, yeah, man. but everyone literally was gonna get fired because they bought the club. And they're cleaning the house, and they want to start with you. Know how it is? You buy so something. there's a new owner came in. They got rid of everybody but me and Side Dick Eddie, and like we started working together and shit. And like you know, it's, you, we kicked it off cool, but not great. Kicked it off, kicked it off, kicked it off, and then we, we started kicking it. And then I told this for go, hey homie, I'm thinking about starting a podcast, and he was like, "What the fuck is that?" Straight up. Yeah, and I was like, don't trip, homie. Like, the way me and you conversate, people don't understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't know, like, the lingo, the style, the mixture. They, and, like, I was hanging out with fools that were just doing podcasts, but I yeah. knew I wasn't ready. I mean, you were hanging out with Joe Rogan and, 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 <laughs> yeah. and Joey Coco Diaz. Brian bro. Redband, so, dog, the creator so, of all that so shit. I mean, bro, like, you were hanging out. I mean, bro, I still do. You're a fucking Mexican dog hanging out with these legends, my boy. Eddie Bravo, too, dog. Yeah. Eddie, Bravo. Eddie Bravo, bro. Yeah. That, that thinks the, the world is flat. Homie. He's the OG. Yeah, he thinks the world is flat, bro. Like, you know I fuck? follow this shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, bro, I follow this shit. So it's what made me follow you, bro. Yeah. And I mean, bro, like, let's not, let's check it out. On this podcast right now, we're getting let's not there. cut it short. This dude right here, this is a homie. We all homies. We all doing shit. Hey, nah, so you a legend, bro. I know, but I don't trip off of it, dog. It's hey, just I mean, like, how do you feel about that, bro? Yo, man. Uh, you a legend, bro. I was a legend yesterday. Today, I want to be a legend again. That's how I look at it. Like, He's humble, dog. He's humble. Yeah, He's I'm straight. just, I'm out there grinding. One of the most humble you know, I've, I've stayed on top because I've always worked with the new people. And that's what they never did to me. Bro, hey, check it out. There's two cats. There's a few cats that have fucked with me on this level. Esteban Oriol, George Perez. Other cats, too. You yeah. know what I mean? But, bro. I, as in the podcast. Bro, you like, yeah. no, bro. But, like, I mean, you, you, you like, who the hey, fuck bro, am I, bro? Nah. Who the fuck am I, bro? When he first told me, he was like, yo, I'm going to start a podcast. For like a year, even before that, I was just going out with them every night, going out with them, dog. And he would, I'm seeing this fool go on stage, kill it after these top. Where is it killing it at? Dog, the comedy store, Hollywood improv, all the improvs. Like, he's just murdering. I'm literally back scenes just watching this fool. And when he starts the podcast, I already knew the game. Like, it, I, even when I do comedy now, like the people he worked with, they invite him with me. They're like, yo, bring side dig too. Like, yo, he was, look, hey, but he was scared in the beginning, dog, because he didn't know. Like, I, hey, was. I was, dog. Hey, was one scared. time, I hey, do it. one time, this fool, you know what, he had a baller ass lady, money, everything. Hey, you know how it is, dog. <laughs> you know how it is, fool. Lucky. You know how it is. I know how it is. She dog. came and picked him up. Had I'm, the, I'm the bitch that got a hey, job now, <laughs> though. I'm, no, a, I'm a lady. <laughs> mid podcast took me. She's like, Get out of the car. I need to talk to you right now. Jordan, Showed up with Jordans and clothes. Yeah, dog. The new Jordans. The new <laughs> Jordans. Bro. She's like, George, like, where'd you go? I gotta talk to my lady. Yeah, I won't be back. But like, I I once he once I seen that, once I started doing shit with him, podcast comedy shows, and the titties that were sent to me in my DM and pussy pictures, <laughs> I was like, yo, you gotta go, girl. I'm like, I gotta chase this comedy thing. That's how it was. So you sober now? I mean, no, yeah, sober. You be you're, you're uh, uh, single, single now. Yeah. Say hell yeah. You sure. know how you know how you do when they pay you for like ten bucks? I mean, people pay me to be their manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dog. Hey, bro. 
something on boy. Really? How are we feeling today, dude? I'm feeling good. This, 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 we're about to wrap it up in a little bit, though, because, like, huh? Nah, check it out, bro. Let's ask the homie some questions. All right, let's ask the homie some questions. Let's ask him some questions. Let's get him some questions and shit. I'm fucked up, dog. You hear my voice, dog. I was fucking... And let me take a piss real quick. How about that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask some questions. I got you. Look at that shit. Yo, ask a question. I'll ask you a question. Yo, George. Hold on. No, 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 no. First time I ever did coke. Yes, I have a homeboy named Weddle from OVSA. His name's Richard yeah. Green. That's my motherfucking homeboy right there. What up, my boy? John, what's up? Dope shirt. Hell yeah, repping my motherfucking county. But I got love for everybody that's a sewer. So don't even trip. What, did you say? what are they saying, Eddie? I'm fucking I'm blind. I did fucking... Yeah, Hell yeah, that's my cousin Artie, Arte de Guerra, Art of War. Badass artist. That's what's up. This is my homeboy Big Sleeps right here. That's the homie at Big Sleeps. What about Rascal? Rascal, what's Rascal, up? Rascal, what's up, my that's boy? Rascal. Rascal. Boulevard that. Tattoo, La Marada, and the I motherfucking Bill did. What's up, Bay Rascal? Boy. That's the only a hey, rascal yeah, rascal is the only dog. fool to kidnap me, me and side yeah, and, and our driver. I love rascal. Straight out that they fool. Said, Take a bump on live, my boy. I would, but we need some. Bring it. Juice County. What's up, Juice County? Motherfucking Orange County. Hell yeah, we need glasses, dog. We're old ass fools. Favorite rap group. Hold on. Here. Somebody put my son is from over. I said. Hey, they said favorite rap group. George Sarah said. Favorite rap group? Yeah, rap group. NWA. Uh, DPG. Uh, dog pound. Yeah. I'm doing a line right now. They said saludos. Send Pedro. me a DM in that, di- in that line. For Kern County, what's up, baby? What's up, big Kern? My son's from over. Hey. Who's that? Who's that? Who's your son, man? No, no. What's the name of the handle? Oh, it's Adam Rodriguez. Adam. Finally caught this live. I remember Huero from maybe behind it. Yeah, that's my homeboy right there. <sighs> I'm feeling good, my boy. Hey, let me let me. Uh, we fucked up. But let me just uh, answer you a couple questions real quick. Uh, for sure, show, for sure. Get, my girl just said, you get a slap and you go and get shit. <laughs> <laughs> my girl just texted you right now. She said, you fool, you fucking shit place sloppy. No, she's, it's all good, though. Like, at times, I'm just like that. Except me for me, eh? Right? Uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I mean, just like, put on some Brent Wood and it's all good. This place of me. I don't think we're allowed to, right? No, we're not. <laughs> Let me see real quick. Oh hey. shit! Somebody said how much? Ninety nine cents. Who is that? Shout out to. Shout out to Sarah. Good looking out, Sarah. I appreciate you, Sarah. Love. Good looking out. Appreciate but you. But I'm going right to send you a nude of me in full fucking clothes. Who wants to see this dude naked? Who wants to see him naked? Yeah, who wants to see me naked with a motherfucking cup of noodles? <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> Woo! What's up? Salsa said, in my motherfucking who, mouth. They said, who's the most hated comedian? Motherfucking Jeff Garcia. <laughs> Is he not? What did you do with Tony? Did you do with Tony A? What happened? Did you to us? Yes, yes, I did do it. Yes, I had him on both my podcasts. You had him on your Tony podcast? A yes. Tony he's a homie right there. So Tony A is doing a lot of shit out of uh, uh, Harbor area. And shit, yeah, yeah. Dog. He's one of the originals, dog. He yeah, yeah. was. What is, the, what is Tony A, dog? Who is Tony A? Okay. I don't even know who All right. is. Let me jump. So Tony A, the wizard, is the original DJ of High C. I remember they did that song, Sitting in the Park. Remember they did the remix? Yeah. 
They did that. And what was the other one they did, Eddie? I see. Uh, I'm yeah. not your puppet. Yeah, I'm not your Sit puppet. In Sitting in the park. And they, they started doing like DJ mixtapes back in the early 80s with like Dr. Dre in them. But I don't know what happened after High C's second album. Tony A had kids and he just ended up raising his kids, but still staying in the scene mixing. And then he's about to release a documentary on like how when what he was happened? in the game at yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah. shout out to shout out to Tony A. Yeah. He's yep. doing his shit with the fucking uh awesome. he's doing a lot the of the rhodium uh, mix. He's yeah, rhodium. He's doing yeah. a lot of shit with the fucking uh I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's doing with some fucking uh all the all the all the raza fucking uh, in la casa la raza in the casa he's doing all he's doing all the fucking shit with that shit dog good shout out to you what's, hey, what's hey, up Wilmer dog Wilmer you Wilmer about Mano Wilmer Valderrama yeah, yeah um I was with him on MTV your mama when I first got out of prison he had a show that we did and it was cool um homie's doing huge ass things that I've never ever bothered him but whenever I've seen him he's been good to me. It's been good to you. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I mean, you were back in the day. You were with that MTV. Uh, your mama. Uh, give me your mama. Give me your mama. A your mama joke. Yeah. Uh, your mama so old, her nipples look like saladitos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your sad. mom's pussy is like a gas station. Pay before you pump. Your mom's so old, she saw a passion of the Christ life. How did you get in there, brother? I've just always, I've always I'm the fucking second youngest of six boys in my house. Yeah, speaking that. You know, speaking that, brother. And it's like all my older brothers can fucking fight. They're good in sports. And I wasn't even supposed to be born. My mom had her tubes tied. And like it was. They're all a year apart, and then I'm four years apart. So I got a little time on these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And, like, it's just is what it is, dog. They're all good at what they do, and I wasn't going to bow down. I'd always be clowning, dog. Like, one of my brothers was dark as fuck. I remember I used to tell that fool, fool, you don't even use lotion. You use armor all. <laughs> this motherfucker's a used tire. You got to spray him every day. <laughs> You know, like it was just banging like that. Like I remember one of the stupidest jokes I ever did, I got laid off of. I was like, man, this motherfucker over here is eating the motherfucking apple pie singing the song Cutie Pie. <laughs> <laughs> and bitches were like, you can finger bang me. That's why I love comedy, dog. They, say, hey. they always say that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet because I got more questions. For, All right. For, for him. I, 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 got, I got more questions for George Perez. Do it. Because if I didn't, I'll be slacking on my pimping. Don't trip and keep pimping. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I mean, George Perez is a legend, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say. George Perez is our mouthpiece for comedy. Yeah, I'm the only home. I mean, really George, George Lopez ain't. He never been busted. He ever done shit like. No, nah. I'm not trying to put him down, dog. But if you check yeah, old videos, fuck, bro, nah. if you check old videos of him, he's a different looking dude. But you know what though? He kind of influenced me in comedy because when I first. Like was about to start. I remember seeing him, and it was like a little extra encouragement. It was like, oh wow, <laughs> look, he's fading, <laughs> dog. Right, that's the bottle was about. over with. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I love. That's why I, I, automatically. That's why I love Lucky. Hey, you, you know, know what, dog? I mean, I mean, bro, like, I want to do drugs. That's what I got. Like, you're like if, animal, if you got cocaine, right. I would do it. Bro, hey, <laughs> you don't understand. When we walked in, this fool made us walk in like the movie Outbreak. 